Well, yeah, we will talk about that. Antichrist. Uh, right, yeah. Good afternoon. Good evening. Good morning. Good welcome. My name is The Reckonist. I am playing Crusader Kings 3 for your viewing pleasure. Uh, uh, this is a preview copy. Um, it's not out yet. I have been um, fortunate to have the game for about two and a half weeks now. You may have noticed me occasionally. It says I've been playing Crusader Kings 3 on Discord. Um, it's not my wasn't it was accidental um, but yes there we are um, so I got 230 hours into it um, Crusader Kings 2 was a very much love-hate relationship I put over 120 hours into it or something stupid like that and I couldn't understand anything because I come too late to um, learn the additional DLCs that they kept stacking on top of each other so when you come late it's just great big slice of all sorts of mechanics and thing guides were out of date like after two months and things like that so I wanted to learn it properly but I never could uh, anyone who saw me try do it you'll see but this is very much focused on accessibility very much so um, for if you're a new player you're at you're the right time to get in now. Um, there is a point I'll make. Some of it is nowhere near as... Um, okay, let's rephrase that. Just like Civilization, the release is a little bit bare bones, but then they'll add more DLCs on top of it, and at some point it'll become clearly better than um, the previous one in terms of... Uh, sorry, in terms of volume of game. Uh, right now, it's still great. It's going to get better, which is why I'm, I'm stunned with it. Right, okay. Um, so let's go, shall we? We're in. So, Crusader Kings, it gives you six start dates. Well, two start dates, but six scenarios if you want to play sort of manicured scenarios. Um, or you can play as any ruler. There is no create a rule uh, DLC thing. Yeah, I can't make myself into it, for example. I can't give my uh, starting dynasty left-handed duelist, etc. Um, but yeah, you can still zoom all the way in and grab... I want to be... Oh, that's King Charles. No, okay, I want to be this guy, who's a Count. Uh, count of Bourbon. But... Um, yeah. That is possible still, but I st I've been playing mainly the uh, the ones that's sort of leaning you towards playing straight away. Um, I've played most of them. I've struggled with some of them because they're not Western European and they don't have things I'm, I'm familiar with. Um, yeah, so 867 and 1066. 867, Wrath of the Northmen. The Great Adventurers, The Carolingians, Fate of England in 1066, Rags to Riches, which is a, you're an obscure guy in an area where you can get powerful quickly. And then we've got full-on Game of Thrones, uh, Dynasty Squabbles, and Incest, and all sorts of stuff here. Iberia in Pieces is the most fun, but it's really difficult unless you are Alfonso, but we'll leave that for now. Um... Any questions you have, fire them away. I'm gonna play something for a bit, I guess. Um, what shall I what shall I start with? Go on then, go on guys. Who shall who who should we do first? So we've got Alfred, Ivar the Boneless. Yes, that's Ragnar Lothbrok's grandson. Bjorn Ironside, that's Ragnar Lothbrok's son. In the sorry, in the Amazon Prime TV show. Basically, Lannister's all yeah. That's what the Iberian pieces is. Carloman, brother of Charlemagne. Yep, that's the same guy. The Carolingians. So there's Charles the Bald, Lothar, Ludwig the German, Prince Carloman, and King Louis, who is some distant relation. So this was Charlemagne's empire, the first Holy Roman Empire, and then he died. And then rather having one succession, they had three. You don't get a vote. Who says it's a vote? You've got to impress me. Right, okay, I'll play as Island then, so you can get an idea of what we're doing. <laughs> it's easy. Tutorial Island is... They've made it. They made a meme actually part of the game now. Oh yeah, I only play as Iron Man, um, because, you know, 
I've got chain metal on. Um, right, so let's have a look at this. I have not actually looked at these options, you know. Difficulty, multiplayer, murder schemes. Ooh, hostile schemes can be used against players and their families. Wow. Yeah, multiplayer is a thing, apparently. I've not touched it yet, because, you know, preview, I don't think. Can't see spell cost. Mongol invasion is still set. You can never, random, yeah, default. Faith conversion, yep, yeah, end date. Ooh, is there a different end date? No end date. Yeah, 1453. What was the significant event of 1453? Is that Constantinople? That's the fall of Constantinople, isn't it? So that's the official end of the Roman Empire. Okay, and I guess that's the start of the Renaissance, probably. Okay, um... Same-sex relations are on. Yep, that's definitely a thing. Sexual... Sexuality distribution. Heterosexuality is the most common sexuality, while homosexuality, bisexuality, and asexuality are less common. Yeah, that's true. Faith acceptance... Random ruler placement. Rulers have their historical titles of a realm. Hmm. Rulers are randomly placed on the map. Wow, that's interesting. If you want... Yeah, if you want a random map, you want either the Boneless being in Bupin Italy or something. That's pretty good. Randomized faith off. Yeah, faith on this is incredible. And you can, when you play as the Huns, you can choose to up sticks and move into Hungary. You're not actually Hungarian yet, but still. Okay, that's the options. Uh, we'll play as Petty King Brashad, I guess. Unless... Um, Alfred the Great. Um, I've got videos coming out pretty soon on the YouTube channel. I have to wait until, I think it's tomorrow, the embargo lifts. So I'll do some stuff. You will see some stuff that uh, is there. Should we do Alfred? It's listed as hard. I don't think that's the case. Yeah, that's so weird. Okay. All right, well, we'll play as Island. Petty King Island. Okay, so the best part about this game, by far, by far, is the tooltip system. It is the best tooltip system of all time. As somebody who struggled with CK2 and constantly having to glance at an out-of-date wiki and constantly to figure out what things are, this is amazing. They're called nesting tooltips. So you literally go, what's a dynasty? Oh, okay. Dynasty is a group of noble descendants of a landed ancestor. What's a landed ancestor? A landed character is a ruler who owns all the holdings. Oh, what's a holding? A holding. A holding is a central settlement of the barony county or capital. Oh, that's great. What's a domain? Oh my god, a ruler's domain is a collection of holdings. Okay, what's the domain limit? Oh my god. How how well, okay, what's the primary type? Oh, it's, it's, it's brilliant. You just have to move your mouse rather than scanning. Go in. What? It's fantastic. Right, um... Yeah, let's get going then. So, in the beginning of the 11th century, the High Kingship of Ireland has fallen in and out of House Brian. I'm gonna go with Brian. Brian? Brian's grasp. And the Irish noble houses have warred over territory against each other, Viking settlers. Uh, while hailing from the line of men deemed destined for kingship, not much is known about Merchant's brief lane over the smaller area of Munster. With your help, perhaps members of the House of Brienne can... Brienne? I'm going to go with Brienne. Can sit on the throne once more. Yeah, okay, so I'm playing as uh, Merchad. Let's go. Oh, yeah, Iron Man, go. Mm. Reminds me of old school strategy games. Yeah, everything. Yeah, it's nesting tooltips. They've gone back to go forward, which is great. Okay. All right. Well, this will be familiar. We are in Tutorial Island. Um, yeah, that's me, Petty King Merchad. I'm not married. Great. And this is a very similar things here. I mean, if you have specific questions, let me know. But I'm going to assume that some of you... No, exactly. Yeah, Tutorial Island has literally become Tutorial Island. It's one of, like, the two things, two or three things that are listed as easy. Um, yeah. But more importantly, my son is not married. Brian McBrian. <laughs> Brian of Brian. Okay. Yeah, so I have a son. He's going to... He's going to be following me eventually when I die, and you have to see you're very familiar with that. Now I've got to find a wife, and we can do it via alliance power, so you can get an alliance with whoever it is that you pick. 
or you can just do the AI recommends relevance. This is one that we recommend. This is somebody in Wales that comes with an alliance as well. Or you can search off random stats, age, rank. I'm sure you're familiar with that, but there's also, um, there's also a way of searching some of the traits that will be familiar to anyone who's played CK2. Inheritable traits. There are not many. However, there are staged. This, this like, staggered. So you got uh, a level one mental one. Physical trait is quick. And then there's uh, also intelligent and genius is still about. So the ones that are mainly there are... This one is physical trait, making them hail. I think the top tier of that is like Amazon. So you're like a big Amazon guy or girl. And there's also fecund. Um, yep, yeah, fruitful. Fertility plus 50%. <laughs> There's also Scaly, which I like as well. There's not that many traits right now. I'm sure they will add them because there is so much scope for it. Uh, but then there's also my favorite, Pretty, and then there's Beautiful on top of that. Mm, yes. Yes. But then there's also Lunatic and Feeble, and, you know, there's the, ca there's the counter to them. The negative traits if you have too many um, inbred kids. That's what you have. Um... All oh, right. Okay. This is a suggested wife for my. This is the girl who. Right. Okay. I'm gonna ignore that. Actually, I'm not gonna say that. Right. Uh, relevance. Okay. So, I would like somebody to marry my son who gives me an alliance. I'll go with Wales. The Welsh alliance will be best. Let's go for the youngest Welsh, like Denise. Denise Fersh Bedlin Marathral. It gives me a alliance with the people of Northern Wales area, which are known as Quinet. Yep, so usual prestige per marriage is a good marriage actually, because we get prestige from it. Matrilineal or oh, use a hook, which is the favor system. It's really good. It's basically blackmail. It's so good. You can blast that makes intrigue so much more interesting to me because you can blackmail people and then also charge them not to blackmail. <laughs> it's really good. But as you can see, we are, oh sorry, we are definitely a militaristic type guy. Um, so we now have to pick our lifestyle. Remember the lifestyle DLC on CK2? Comes a standard now. Um, so because I grew up in a martial education, I will learn martial points 30% faster. So it's a good idea to use that. But you are not set in stone for this. You can, every few years, you can switch uh, switch out to a diplomacy tree, a stewardship tree, intrigue or learning. Let's go with Marshall now because of that. This is randomized. This this section here will be randomized each game. Um, I've noticed because most of the time I've gone with the Overseer and um, Chivalry's there. So that's good. Um, yeah, right now I'm gallant. I'm a gallant mother effer. Uh, yeah, which is basically, aren't I cool with fighting? Prowess is the battle, so I'm hand-to-hand -hand combat skill, if you want to use that. If you are a general, you are not in hand-to-hand, -hand. but if you have knights, um, this is a useful thing to have. So basically, I should be stacking knights. My knights are superb. I have a king's guard, which is number of knights plus four, which is a lot early on, especially because... Um, it just is. Anyway, lifestyle focus. So strategy focus, authority focus, and chivalry focus. Dread is a thing. It's basically fear. If anyone played uh, Medieval Total War, you'll know what dread's about. Um, keeping your vassals and subjects in line. Um, yeah, for that, what was that? Oh, the ones with the you married a woman from Wales. Her alliance, you never failed. No, she's stronger than the line. Okay, Harry Burke with a limerick. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that's a limerick. Thank you very much. Yeah. Uh, so, dread. Thank you for the sub, man. Um, I say, yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, dread is a thing. Um, I'm gonna go with authority. Actually, I don't even know if I need to do that. I'm gonna go with. Yeah, I'm gonna go with chivalry focus. That gives me a prowess boost if ever I am caught in hand to hand. Attraction, that makes my more attractive, also gives you an advantage, plus five. That means you get plus five onto every one of your dice rolls, I believe. It's a little bit murky, that area for me, but I think that makes me slightly better in combat. But still, I'm going to go with Chivalry Focus, which I've not done with this character. Can you guys still hear music? Or is it too quiet? Okay. Thank you, Harry. I hope you're well, mate. 
Right, yeah, so this is us. We are monster monsterites. I'm not going to get married just yet. Few knights. Okay, well, yeah, we already talked about the knights. We have knights. Because I've just got plus four more, there are, there are four missing, so I need to get four more. And to use that, I use my prestige to invite knights to my realm. 150 prestige and three able-bodied men with 12 or more prowess will arrive as guests. So over, I don't know, six months or something, three more will come in, which is good. We can also go on a pilgrimage, which is also good. That means getting more piety. And in fact, I'll do that right now before we go to war. So yeah, choose your destination. You get, it costs money, but you get prestige and a um, trait at the end of it. So yeah, let's go on a pilgrimage. Insular pilgrimage. So we are insular Catholics, which are not Roman Catholics. Um, so we're very similar to them, so they don't mind us. We're not hostile to them, and they're not hostile to us. Um, let's go to Jerusalem. 175 gold will put me in the black, uh, sorry, in the red. Um, but I will come into the black quite quickly. Um, right, yeah, so we'll do that. Take Vow of Poverty. Nope. <laughs> That's not going to happen. Right, so I'm in debt. I am here. I have Petty King of Munster. I have claims. I also have a claim for the Earl of Desmond, which is down here. Are they... They are not vassalized at all to me. They are nothing. They don't have any alliances. I'm going to just do a flat-out declare war on them. They have 230 levies. And I need to have more. Oh, they have 400 garrison. Yeah, I need more than 400 men to actually um, attack them, which I don't have right now. So, yeah, I'm going to wait. Do knights replace commanders in CK2? No. Knights are completely different as far as I know. Um, okay, I'll read the blurb. A knight is a character that joins your army to fight alongside your soldiers. During battles, knights use their prowess skill to fight more effectively. A high prowess means they are more able to inflict damage, and are more likely to survive, or even emerge from a battle unscathed. Basically, what I found out is your knights, ca uh, your knights focus on other enemy knights, and if your knights are better than the other enemy knights, you'll be more, much more likely to win a fight. A character... Oh yeah, it's worth pointing out, your character cannot be a commander and a knight at the same time. So, um, yeah, that's the thing. It's a different, it's like a specialist unit which fights other specialist units, but occasionally you will have to fight levies, and occasionally levies will kill you. I've seen that, like normal peasants will get their go. Uh, usual hold system, so we've got a castle, a city, and a temple, and space to um, grow, should I end up with 500? 746 gold, oh wow, that's a lot. Um, yeah, so that's there. Um, okay, well, um, shall I try and get married? Yeah, oh, a princess, of, a Norwegian princess who's 20. I'm 39. Well, why not? Alliance power, Normans. So, this is um, 1066, isn't it? So, Harold is here, Harold Godwinson. Yep, Harold Hadrada is there. And William the Bastard is here. So it's all going to kick off in England. Um, who do I back is the thing. <laughs> if I have a, if, if I back the winner now, I'll have an ally on in, on in England so I can call to wars and stuff. Are levies like militia? Yeah, levies are like farmers with pitchforks. As far as I know. As far as I understand it, they're just a dull mass of, you know, your mates. Um... But you can hire um, men at arms, which cost money to um, form and upgrade and maintain. And these are specialist troops, which are good on certain types of terrain and poor on other types of terrain. Uh, Golden Brady, absolutely easier. I also had a problem with CK2. I never got into it because it was so complicated. This 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 whole game seems to be the. It seems to be accessibility for new players, which I guess they knew it was complicated. And uh, I think they've done a really good job on it. Anyway, what else have we got to do here? Uh, my family members can... Oh, I've got... <laughs> okay, I've already sorted out Brian. But my family members can get married. Let's get married with for... Um, let's get some traits in. Inheritable traits, please. Insane. <laughs> Lunatic. But she's hot. 
intelligent, but she's feeble. I'm going to marry her. Debbie Lane. Yep. I'm going to marry her with him. Um, and another one. Let's pick... Um, is there genius about... I mean, intelligent is like rank two of the three or four, I think. We can search for these. Oh, what's this one? This is possessed. Yes. Hale and hearty and... She's three years old, man. How do they know at three years old that she's robust? <laughs> I don't understand that. Oh, you can marry this girl. She's beautiful. There you go. It's going to cost you a hundred. Oh, do you have a lisp? Oh, that's unfortunate. Well, he has a lisp. We'll deal with it. Let's go. All right. Uh, so that's that done. What next? All those are done. Right click. Can declare war. I can straight away declare war for the earldom of Desmond, but I'm not going to do that because I don't have enough troops to actually take their castle, so there's no real point, I don't think. Well, let's try it out. I'm in debt, I know. Not in oh, I can't declare war while I'm in debt. That will be fixed in a moment. You'll see why. Um, so we'll leave that. And it said that my council... Yeah, my bishop doesn't like me. So, I'm going to use my Sway mechanic. It's 60% chance of making him like me every month. Oh, 40% chance of yeah, okay. So, this basically, I'm going to try and make this character like me. And if he likes me, and I have decent piety, every year, the Pope gives you an option for giving getting 100 gold. That's quite a lot. Um, which is a great thing about being a Catholic, because you will get money every month, a stipend. So yeah, let's let's get him on side. I also have several other people here. I have a Chancellor who does the, who doesn't do fabricate claims. He does uh, foreign affairs, which is like building reputation among foreigners, and domestic affairs, building reputation amongst your vassals. He also has a integrate title. I've not had a use to use that yet. Uh, stewards are uh, money men. They're also increased development in a county that makes build infrastructure, more money, faster travel, things like that. Also promotes culture. So if you go and invade Africa right now, they're not going to be familiar with the Irish culture. You've got to tell them that takes ages. Um, there's also Marshall, who is um, public order. If you have an area that's got low public order, they will um, go over there, but they also train your levies and increase your levy size, or they train your knights and commanders. Um, because I'm not at war, I'm going to train the knights and commanders because they can get huge upgrades if you do it right. And the spy master, yep. Yeah. So spy master disrupt schemes, defensive. Support schemes, offensive, and find secrets, which is brilliant. Um, probably my favorite aspect of the game. You send it to an area and try and find all the secrets brilliant um yeah so that's that also there's no micromanagement of the um of of these things i can't i don't go um uh support a scheme in desmond no i just click support schemes i don't have to micromanage and move him around the map i just click it here just one click brilliant um, so I think right now we'll just disrupt schemes. We're not going to do anything else. I'm not married yet, so I don't have my spouse. I'll show you what the spouse does. I think it's the same as CK2. I'm not 100% sure. But yeah, there we are. We are a petty king of of Munster. Um, you can do targeted schemes. Yes, we'll, we'll, once we get around to that. I will, in fact, can we do it now? Yeah, so there's a murder scheme. Yeah, I need, basically I've, what you really should do is fabricate loads of secrets in the area you're going to kill and then uh, then kill the guy and then those people will help you you'll recruit them all right pilgrimage is off as i prepare for my journey i know that i will travel safely under the protection of god i will be gone for a long time i can only pray the lord watches over my realm as well it's not that long time to depart off to jerusalem i put my kingdom in debt so i can go on holiday <laughs> Greetings, marriage proposal is done. Oh, Debbie's the insane one. Yay, she's hot, but she's insane. Oh, she's also a drunkard and impotent. Excellent. <laughs> well, she's hot. Uh, right, okay. Uh, the hot one has married my other brother. And the Welsh one has married my son. And... 
I'm still not married. Let's get me married. Uh, okay, let's go alliance power. And there's no alliance power. These are all lowborn people, but they have great inheritable traits for the most part. Um, burp, 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 burp. Hello. <laughs> Sorry. I'm streaming. No, I don't. That's why it's not on. I know I don't. Hello. Well, wife is here. Hello. Say hello to everyone. Hello. We can't see you. Is that no. deliberate? Okay. Oh, right, yeah. That's good. It's good that you don't have a brown. It's good that you're not on the camera. Yes. Hmm. Hello, everybody. Hello, Wilbird. How's it going, mate? Yeah, I'm going to marry into... I'm going to marry this 17-year-old um, Norman lady. Because that gives me an alliance with William if he wins, which he probably will. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, that was a nice, broad... Does she have claims? Otherwise, just assassinate her. Probably. Do you mind? Go away. Can you not sense the energy here? I am a lord. Do you not know who you're messing with? I, just I am so hot in this. <laughs> <laughs> I am sweltering. <laughs> Yes. All right. William the Bastard has accepted. I am marrying his niece. That is useful. I now have, what, two or three? I have three alliances, so I can call on these guys to help me. Whether or not they do or not is, you know, up in the air. One thing I have noticed, though, is they're really good at actually aiding you. Um, yeah. Okay. The Mystic. So the, occasionally the Choose Your Own Adventure stuff comes in, which is, like, so good. Minka is one of the stranger people I have met on this journey. He seems to be a firm believer, but also expounds on the true nature of God and what it all means. At night, his tent is lit up by the candles within, and occasionally strange chanting and unusual incense flows from it. I am wholly unprepared when Minka bids me to enter. Uh, I don't know what that... What? Akon? <laughs> Akon? We consider them evil, and they consider us evil, apparently. All right, I'm going to go into the tent. Enter the tent or not, and gain piety. I'm going to go in. Oh, William has asked me to help him take on Harold Godwinson. I'm going to stay out of that English war, if you don't mind. If you don't mind. Pilgrimage, the mystic. Inside Minka's tent, I am greeted by strong smells and an overwhelmingly hot and heavy air. It is important that we turn our gaze within ourselves, he explains, and takes a seat. I want you to close your eyes and focus, as I do. Let God flow through you. Reach for the ecstasy of divinity. Wow. Okay, so because I don't have learning of 12, I can't use this option. This is comfortable. I have a pleasant nap. Well, tell me. You engage in mystical debate. I'm just going to fall asleep. <laughs> Great. Excellent. Matt, how's it going, mate? Whee! He's coming and automatically giving a gift sub out. What a hero. What a hero. <laughs> Cheers, man. How's it going? Uh, 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 five emote shared? Oh, great. Cool. Right, what's going When I wake up from my sleep, Minka's tent... The tent itself is gone. Oh, wow. <laughs> he cleared the tent away. And my servants are rousing me from... Oh, no! There's no trace of him, and he stole five gold for me, but I get a restful traveler boost, a health boost, and but minus stress gain. Stress is a mechanic I'll talk about when we get there. It's when we make decisions we personally don't agree with. Hello there. Do you like the crown, the many crowns, the crown of crowns? All right, let's go. Pilgrimage, cocky lordling. Jerusalem attracts pilgrims from, pilgrims from all over the insular world. So it's not inconceivable I would run into Reeve Eldrad of Darlington on my way. Are you Irish? No, he's not Irish. So there's insular people in Darlington. Uh, what is inconceivable is the insolent way he has treated me, cutting off my entourage on his horse and calling me a churl. The bastard. <laughs> to my face, no less. It is times like this I'm reminded Jesus commanded us to turn the other cheek. Damn it all, that whip. I'll teach that whelp a lesson. Spend piety, get prestige. Breathe in, breathe out. Uh, prestige cost, piety gain, stress cost. Because I'm wrathful, I don't like to, like, be calm. There has to be a better way to deal with this anger. Gain the trait athletic, so that's to run off. It's also a physical trait, isn't it? So it's inheritable, I think, maybe? No, it's not. Um, I'm going to whip him. Yeah, licorice whip. All right. So now we can still go. 
Again, any specific questions, fire them away. Oh, because I whipped him, he's now injured, look. <laughs> I've wounded him. <laughs> he's a content fool as well. They also have a sub-personality, which is really good. I have walked the holy path, so no other city in the world has a history quite like Jerusalem. In addition to the many of the holy sites, there are city city contains the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, built around combined places where Jesus was crucified, buried, and resurrected. Uh, standing outside the Temple Mount with my hand on the western wall, I find myself reflecting on everything that happened in my journey, whipping that guy from Newcastle. <laughs> I have walked the holy path. I uh, now have a pilgrim trait. I think I have that for the rest of my life. Yeah, monthly piety plus 10% and other Christians love me. I also get a lot of piety. And I leveled up my piety level. I am now faithful. So it's like level 2. What do you need to become the King of Ireland? I think it's most of these provinces. Kingdom of Ireland. Yeah, I need to create these and I think have them in my empire. Or at least most. Oh no, I need 7. I have 2 currently. It costs 500 gold. Yeah. So I need to get more duchies. I need to get at least two duchies and these. Yeah, two of these need to be created, basically. So I need to collect places. First place I'm going to go is Desmond, I reckon. I have Desmond and Ormond. Connacht? You have a smaller castle. I'm going to go... Because you only have 287 people garrisoning your castle, and I have 316. I can actually do that. But I don't think I have a claim. I do not have a claim. So what I'm going to do is fabricate a claim using your bishop. Bishop. So it takes Connacht. 15 months. It tells you exactly how long it will take. And it tells you how it's calculated as well. His learning skill and his base skill. So his base skill and his learning skill. Brilliant. So 15 months, I will have a claim on Connacht. No matter what. That can't fail. Why do you want to be King of Ireland? It's Tutorial Island. I'm just... I don't need this, but you guys do, because you don't have 230 hours in, you know what I'm saying? Again, thank you for the gift sub, Matt. Right, uh, let's go. Go, go, go. Okay, so yeah, speed is the same. One, two, three, four, five. Bottom right, you can see that. Because we're not doing anything, I think pretty soon, the once that soon as my bishop likes me, uh, which won't be long by the looks of it, um... I will get options from, and my wife's pregnant, I will get options from the Pope to request cash. And he's like, all right, he's not happy with it, but he'll give you cash every year as long as you keep manicuring that relationship. Mashed potatoes for everyone. That is kind of racist, can it? <laughs> okay, I already have a son, so but now I've got a ginger daughter born with a full head of Irish hair. Oh, we need to name it. Oh, yeah, we'll call it uh, Catnick. My daughter, Katnik. Congratulations. I should do subs get into it. Yeah. You may grow wise, Katnik. <laughs> you are balanced currently. Uh, right. Oh, okay. So I have prowled through documents both ancient and of less certain provenance. I have finally given enough material to look forward to case you were a rightful earldom of Connacht. Indeed, I could even argue you were the rightful lord of the petty kingdom. Okay, so this is basically a crit fabrication, um, the way I'm looking at it. So I have a claim on Connacht, but also I will have I can get a claim on uh, the other half of it, which is Bree Brafiani, but it costs money. I don't have the money, but I can still fabricate it. So this is a claim on the entire duchy. Sometimes that that quite rarely appears, but I do have that. Yes, all of Connacht with my minus two hundred and forty-eight. Oh dear. So I can declare war on him, but I can't declare war while I'm in debt. So it might take a while before we can actually go ahead with this. Uh, in the meantime, let's just keep going. Golden boy redeemed the compliment. I love your name, Golden. Oh, Golden Brady, even better. I like your name. Welcome. If you're new here, hello. Why don't you click that follow button? Make me feel appreciated. 15 years to solvency? No, it'll change much, much sooner than that. Okay, and um, because I have 30% buff on martial tactics, I can... Do I have Gallant? I do not have Gallant, so I can unlock the Gallant trait. I am now a Gallant MF. Gallant is martial plus 2, prowess plus 4, prestige plus 20, and attraction opinion plus 20. I am a hot Irish king. I'm also, like... Full on knights. 21 marshal. Pretty good. 
we need to get to war quickly. Okay, my dear uncle, having received correspondence from your chancellor, I must say I've come to see you in a new light. So he's doing foreign affairs. So the guy who owns Dublin and Leinster likes me, plus 54. Good. There is a way to vassalize people, so you can peacefully take over places. It does come out tomorrow, Bearded Zambi. I've had it for three weeks, and I'm allowed to stream it from now. Very well, Domnall shall serve me. Yes, commander promoted. All right. So because I had him tra training commanders, my marshal, this guy's coming to our service, who is 18 prowess, strong, and is a 18 marshal. Wow. Yep, he can serve me. Absolutely. Oh, yeah, I need to make sure... Uh, you can force people to fight on the battlefield, or you can stop people fighting on the battlefield. For example, I do not want my heir being a knight when his prowess skill is 1. So forbid him. That'll catch you out a couple of times until you remember. Um, yeah. Yeah. Mm -mm, force. Recruit to court. Oh yeah, you can recruit uh, people who are passing by if they're good enough for your knights as well. But I don't have any money because of this. Call to war. Right, the Welsh want me to fight... The other Welsh. So there's a Welsh war going on. We are allied. My wife is from Gwynedd. And they are fighting other Welsh people. Who don't have any alliances, which is handy. They're also fighting other people. Tell you what, I can't... Alright, I don't think I can... Right, but even though I'm in debt, I'm going to go ahead and start that. Can I raise all armies? I can. So I don't have to be solvent to help an ally out in war. That's good. All right, so now the best, one of the best parts of the game, other than the tooltip system, is the fact that now armies, armies can travel by boat, and it tells you a flat fee. It says this, once I'm full up, will cost me. What was it? It's like five gold to get over there. There you go, five gold. Don't have to hire anyone like that. No navy battles at all yet. I'm sure that's something they're looking at. But they don't need to right now. Okay, so we're going claiming it. I'm sorry, I'm going a bit fast there. So we went over there. This is their capital. The war score will go up the more of these places we have. DLC should be an emote, I think. <laughs> yeah, all right. Okay, let's go. Camp dispute. Yep, more choose your own adventure stuff. After my army sets up camp, I hear a commotion coming from my knight's lodgings. Investigation of the service, there's Domnall and Senatig are in the middle of a heated argument while several onlookers edge them on. There's, new, there's young Domnall. And there's my nephew. Senatig, Mac, Lorch, and Brian. <sighs> okay, what can I do? Deliver a speech about unity. 46% chance of that being a good thing. Have them whip for their delinquency. 20 dread of martial experience, but they both get wounded. Sod this, I'm going to my tent and stuff in my ears. Whip him. 20 dread and martial experience, please. Thank you. Sora 2000 stack. These are friendly. They're, they're blue. Blues are allies. Blue allies. Gray, neutral, red enemies. They don't look like they've got any soldiers up. A red stack? I don't see them. Oh, they're up there. Oh, yeah, they're taking that. Thanks for letting me know. Hopefully these guys will be... Oh, they won't. If, as soon as they start to move, I'm going to have to run away like a massive coward. Okay. Yeah, I'll keep it on speed three, just so we can keep pace, like, with chat and stuff. Usually, I'm a five and pause guy. <laughs> I press five and press space when something interesting happens, which obviously is a problem. Okay. They've taken it, and... Oh! They, they they cowered away. They saw how strong I am, and they ran away. Now they probably saw that these guys were around. Okay, they're going... For some reason, they're going into the water. I think they're going for my home base. They're about to lose, though, because... Oh, no, here they come. Uh oh shit. Right. If I run now, I might get away. Oh, there's two places in between. Right, okay, so they have to go to there, to there. And I have... 11 days. Ooh. Let's see what happens. 8, 7, 6, 5. Okay, I need to run. Yeah, so this is telling me if there's a fight, I'm dead. Uh, run away. 
please get out there quickly. Please get out quickly. Please get out quickly. No, I got caught. So the fighting's happening now. There are stages. There's pre-battle. There's early battle, late battle, and post-battle. And it goes on there. You can't flee until you're in late battle. Obviously, you take a few more casualties if you would have stood and fight for, but then you actually can live to fight another day. Also, this is their king as well. So that's the prince. Yeah, so he can't be a king. Right. Okay. Well, I have elite quality troops because my troops aren't tired, I guess. Quality gauges the power of an army relative to its number of soldiers. So professional soldiers obviously increase quality. Uh, right. Can you run away yet? You must be able to run away. Nope. Okay, one guy's left. Run away now. <laughs> Literally run anywhere. Hopefully my king won't be dead. Okay. Nope, but we did lose our marshal <laughs> in the battle. That's a shame. Oh, but we've got a better marshal now. There we go. It's Domnall again. He's coming very strong. Okay, so my guys are running away, and oh, they're coming after me again. Are you kidding me? Oh, feck. Get in the water. <laughs> Swim. Swim. No, no. Get halfway, or I'll fight. Oh, okay, I think I'm dead. I don't think I will die, though. They might capture me. I don't think they'll kill me because there's rules to this stuff. Yeah. So because my army died in the early um, stages... Uh, they can't run away. If they died in the early stage of the battle, that's it. They're done. They can't run away. They will all fold. I've killed a lot of men today. But I'm still alive and healthy because of, I guess, my prowess skill. Yeah, nothing happened to me. I wasn't captured. I wasn't hurt. So everyone wins. Alright, my spy master apparently has died. He must have died in that second fight. I have a nephew who's fairly good at intrigue, so we'll keep that. Keep it in the family if you can. And now I would like you to fabricate... Actually, can we see if we can turn this county in Desmond to our favor? So I'm spent sending the spy master to this area. They will find secrets like uh, these guys are having an affair. This guy's a sodomite. This guy's a non-believer. Things like that. And we can use those things to blackmail. Should we need to. But let's speed it up a bit now while this is all happening and we're finally... Hopefully, where's the Pope? Oh, sorry, where's the Pope? Pope. Why isn't the Pope offering me money yet? That should be happening. Oh, yeah, I'm married now. So my ma my wife can help out in whatever stats she's got. She's good at court politics, uh, which is basically happiness of vassals, and managed domain, which is money. Money would be good, so she went out from 2.8 to 2.9. Yeah, and the, actually, I should probably get her on patronage so we can impress the Pope more. In fact, let's have a look at the Pope. Oh, I don't have a Pope because I'm not Catholic. But I can just become Catholic if I want to. This is part of the game which is huge. The religion side of it is massive. It, I could pick any of these religions now. I can pick any of them and become any of them. But it's dangerous, obviously. Around me, there's loads of insular Catholics and some Catholics. Um, I think. Let's just double check that. Uh, it? Okay, insular Catholics and Catholic. So, those are just the Christians' face. Yes, because so look at them all. There are so many. And you can customize your own and make your own and look at all the things you can affect. Deviancy, same-sex relations, male adultery, criminal, female adultery, witchcraft. How does your religion look on... Uh, cler clerical functions and marriage and can they lead armies and things like that? Uh, <clears throat> you men you ecumenical ecumenism? Ecumenism. That's the one. You know, doctrines. What's a sin? What's a virtue? What other tenets do you have? It's really good. But because I have quite a high piety, I can just go straight into Catholicism which includes armed pilgrimages, so I can join any crusades. Communion, um, I can seek indulgences. So if I become um, a king slayer, for example, if I kill somebody and it's, everyone knows it's me and it becomes a trait, I can pay to have it removed. Brilliant Catholic stuff there. And uh, monastism, courtiers take your vows and become a monk. Yeah, so if you want to get rid of somebody who's particularly annoying, you can force them to become a monk, which is good. Uh, things that are sins, lust, gluttony, deceit. 
sadistic, vengeful. What's a virtue? Chaste, <laughs> temperate, honest, compassionate. Yeah, you can edit this as well, but it costs a fortune in piety. Don't even think about doing it until you've got like 10,000. It's stupid. Um, but yeah, I'm going to become a Catholic. I can convert to the Catholic faith right now and have the Pope become my friend. Convert faith. And I have two vassals and they will both convert with me, even though this guy definitely sounds like he is a Viking. Ragnvald Stigridsen. Yep, okay, well he is... What is that? Patriarch. Ooh, he's got a full-on tech tree, basically. Anyway, Catholic. Let's become Catholics. The old faith will consider me righteous, so they, th these guys, these insular guys, don't think we're evil. They're like, oh, there's some Catholics there. <laughs> As we all know, there is no religious problems in Ireland whatsoever. So, we're Catholics now. That means the Pope, the head of faith, will give us gold because he likes us. He's going to give me 100 gold and knock off all of the, or knock 100 off that debt. And next year, as long as he still likes me, he'll do the same thing. Brilliant. Uh, right, you can declare war. I, I can declare war, but again, I haven't got... Um... Oh no, what the... Oh no. My wife died in childbirth. Oh well, let's get another one. Do, 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 do. Oh, pick a wife from Tinder. Medi medieval Tinder here. Okay, let's get this 17-year-old Norman princess in. No, actually, shall, shall we do it for traits? Let's get the best possible trait. A two-year-old who's beautiful? <laughs> That's so fucking weird. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, right. Okay, let's sort by uh, sum of all skills. So this is the best person stats who have a good inheritable or an inheritable trait. Also, I'm 30, I'm 44, so let's not get something unseemly. Um, Franconian, she's got good stats and she's also intelligent. There is the off chance we'll have a couple of kids, so let's just get that one in. It's gonna cost me 300 prestige, which is half my prestige. Holy crap. Uh, all right, we'll do that. Uh, despite our best efforts, my agents have yet to recover any secrets. So there's no secrets that this this particular agent can find right now. So come back to disrupting schemes, please. So that means stifling anyone who's against me. Okay, come back. Uh, I have a few knights because they all died. Great, I am married again. Yeah, I got I got, I had a kid at 68. I've had it for three weeks, Brazzers. I've got a lot of hours in it. If you have questions, just fire away. My commander's been promoted. Hooray. Okay. So, yeah, he should serve me. That's a pretty good 19 commander with a defensive bonus. Ooh. Very well. Okay. New perk of the lifestyle. So, I've unlocked another tree. Um, oh, yeah. When you declare war... Oh, Cassie's spell costs 50%. Exactly how does that work? Uh, cause for war, required to declare war on another ruler. Uh, da, 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 war target. Okay, note that the attacker in a war can never lose any territory through defeat. Yeah, you can't... If you attack and you fail, and nothing really happens other than your prestige takes a hit and you probably have to pay a fine. <laughs> yeah, we'll take that. Bellus Justicum. Right, come on. We need to get to next year so I can get the Pope to give me more money. Give me more money, please. Heresy in Lombardy. So the Lombards have converted to Waldensinism. They consider us hostile. We consider them hostile. That's a Christian faith, but it's a hostile Christian faith. Okay. Only question I have is if the game feels like moving quicker than the previous one. It's a lot easier to understand, brother. I'll give you that. And my wife is pregnant. Please don't die in childbirth. I understand that's a risk in the Middle Ages, but come on. Please don't die. Come on, Mr. Pope. I want money so I can declare war before they build. Yay! Okay, so because I kind of helped, I got 49 prestige. Is that it? And the prince likes me. I kind of helped in that war in Wales. Sort of did stuff. Great. So that war's over, and I'm still swooning my uh, bishop. Swain. That's that's the phrasing. Oh, another another daughter. Yay. Uh, let's call this one Brazos. Brazos. Congratulations, Brazos. You are now my daughter. 
Uh, the fanatical King Harold of Danelaw and his vile raiders have carved out a new realm in the Isles and proclaimed it the Kingdom of the Danelaw. Oh my god, it's Darth Vader. He is disfigured, so he's wearing one hell of a mask. So he's seen some fighting and he won. So basically, this is no longer England, it's the Danelaw. So now, because they're all... Oh no, he's Catholic. He's a Catholic. I can't just declare holy wars on them. Wow. Okay. So, Harold Hadrada won the war for England. So that means... Oh, William lost, but he's still alive. So we still got a mate in Normandy. The fact that he's not at war... Oh, he's kind of at war, but he's... I could use him a lot in any wars that I'm coming up because we're still allied, I believe. No, we're not allied. Ignore that then. Alright, um, Mr. Pope, sir, I need that money now. When you're ready. Hopefully they haven't upgraded their keep, so it's not going to be a problem. Oh my god, the King of Connacht took the head of culture. So the culture is its own tech tree, so we're Irish. All the Irish people have this culture. And whoever's the strongest Irish person gets to lead the culture and choose what we unlock, which is a problem. I like to stream it so that um, immediately it's about succession. Sudden shock. I have ridden, taken aim, and struck so many times I thought nothing could upset my rhythm as I take yet another gallop down the practice range. A commotion I cannot fully see makes my horse rear up. For an instant, momentum keeps me pinned to the back of the horse as it starts shaking. Then, as if time is flowing slow, I can feel myself becoming dislodged. Calm down, boy, calm down. 45% chance of cool stuff, 55% chance of wounded. I die for stable ground for the cost of prestige. I'm not doing that. I'll take my chances. Unglamorous display. Thrown to the ground. Pain rushing through. I am wounded. Cool. That means I could become scarred. All right. Something's happening at court. I'm passing through the castle gardens for a morning walk. And the soft breeze carries the voices of Nile and Flathbertach to my ear. The two courtiers are talking to each other. And salute. Okay. Torture them. Listen in. Oh wait, torture them, listen in, what's this one? Ask. I'll have them bound and delivered to Dolgus? Oh, okay. I'm sure it's nothing. I'm gonna try and listen, there's only 41% chance though. And they spotted me. <laughs> oh, the Welsh are at war again. No, decline. The Welsh want us to help out again. Nope, I'm going my own way. Now, right, now I am solvent. Do you still have, you have 307, I have 523 troops. Um, let's make that more by stop and make him train the levies which will increase the size and I'm just going to go straight into war for the entire duchy yep declare war for the duchy costs 125 prestige but it's for the entire duchy of Connacht that's quite good I also have allies they have none and they have less troops than us apparently cool right uh, raise all armies I shall lead it personally is that me no, apparently it's not. I am going to lead it. If you don't mind? Because I'm cool as hell. Alright, uh, let's go. We've got to go through wetlands, which is quite a... As far as I can tell, it's only an island. I don't think I've seen wetlands anywhere else. Oh no, there is on oh, East Anglia, obviously, but... Yeah, okay. So it's wetlands. Um, obviously, horses are terrible. Um, you know, this paper says it's stone, paper, rock, scissors, whatever you want to call it. So they've got 783. How come I am not... Right, I don't have enough troops to fight this, but they've got two... Oh, Christ. I need the Welsh guy to come over and help, otherwise I've just killed myself. I'm going to defend. They said they'll come, but I doubt it. Right, I'm going to stay in the marsh, and I'm going to change commanders, actually, because we do have a commander who's good at defending. And the AI wanted to pick him. Yeah, they're in their own war. Um, I've raised everyone I can. I'm just going to stay here and defend in wetlands. See what's what. 805? What is in your army? They have... Oh, it's just levies and skirmishes. Skirmishes are good against heavy or armoured infantry. I just have levies. This is a problem. 
I'm going to try and fight it and see what happens. You mean, I can't lose this area because I'm not declaring war. Okay, the AI says it's like pretty 50-50. Let's see how this goes because we're defending. And as the dice rolls are happening, we're winning. We're going to win. Because of one good commander with a good trait. I've taken my peasants. Oh no, my marshal. He's injured. Is that you? Is that Domino? No, it's not. Nothing that can be done. He is severely injured. Oh no. <laughs> the, the saga of Domino's rise to prominence and death. Only 54 people didn't rout. Okay. So now I'm just slaying the shit out of him. And I've con- I've- Oh, brilliant. I've captured their king and ended the war in one fight with half the men. <laughs> Alright, enforced demands, I guess. Yeah, the demand is give me Connacht. I get fame and prestige. They lose prestige and obviously no longer have a title. So be it. Oh, now, now he's a powerful vassal. Uh, great. Okay, so now I just disband and... Yeah, they are now my vassal. But I need money to go ahead and create the Duchy of Connacht. Then I'll have two. I'll have two. Um, yeah, this is classed as a Kingdom of Munster now. But I'll have two duchies, which is required for the Kingdom of Ireland, which is handy. You can ransom Earl Madart Brefin. 31 gold, but it should be 50. I'm going to wait. And in the meantime, while I'm waiting, um, let's go ahead and torture him. Just see... Uh, just see what happens. It cost me piety, but, you know. So? <laughs> he might have a secret. He might he might give me a secret. Truth or torment? Oh, sweet kiss of the whip. Oh, yeah, he did spill. Please. No, please. I will tell you anything you want to know. I have a terrible secret. <gasps> Ooh, intriguing. What's this? Okay, Earl AIDS child heritage? Oh, no. He's an adulterer. I'm not done with you quite yet. That's available because I'm wrathful. <laughs> right, so Earl Aid, that's the guy who is um, here, the guy we just beat. I, I think I can blackmail him. Unless one of them has like disputed heritage, one of his kids. I can't know how that works now. Anyway, we're moving on. As I inspect the stables, my gaze is drawn towards a mare kept away from all others. She throws her head and stomps her hooves, displaying her powerful hindquarters and well-arched neck. This creature has the best confirmations of the worst tempers. I have never seen such a war horse before, but then the stable master insists she is impossible to train. I'm going to do Alexander the Great. Um, my stable master, I am not one to back away from a challenge. I might gain a lifestyle perk and it becomes my horse. Let's see what happens. Faction created against me. All right, factions. Oh yeah, the guy we just took over has created a faction. Um, demand conversion. He might do it. Oh yeah, so it's gonna convert everyone over to Catholics, which is handy. Let's see how that worked. Uh, pause, sorry. Uh, religion. Yeah, they're all insular right now, but we want them to be Catholics, so. Shall we convert? It's going to take you a while. 11 years. Oh my god. I also ran out. I'm one night short. This guy. I need 25 gold to recruit him. What about this guy? He's a bit worse, but... Yep, 10. Force. Force. I usually force anyone who doesn't have an office and isn't my son or something. Oh yeah, hopefully he'll die in battle so we don't have to deal with him. That's a good way of getting rid of people. Okay, good. Done. I'm not going to ransom him just yet. Training a warhorse. Hey, the horse pins her ears back as approach. Her disregard for me, crystal clear. <laughs> the first meeting is important to earn her trust and respect. I need to decide how to go about it. Steady hand is required. If I'm gentle and move slowly, she will trust me. Everyone has their price. Apples. Steady hand required. So it works well with high prowess. Yep, I have a high prowess. Hopefully that works. It's a mighty feeling. The powerful horse follows my every whim. Now that I have earned her trust, she seems almost fond of me. I will keep her for my personal war horse. I get war horse, more prestige, and a perk. And tamer of horses is prowess and prestige. I want the horse. 
And I've unlocked a new lifestyle. Okay, right. Organized march is movement speed, heavy infantry, spearman, archer, and skirmisher buff. I will take that. I should do a tier list of that stuff. Right, uh, can I ransom you for 50 yet? Nope. Demands council position. Do you? What do you want? Oh, he's intrigue 16, but you are 99 rival. I'm not going to do that. I'll try and sway him a bit, but... Hmm. I'm going to send my spy master over there, see if he can confirm that story that I heard about. The war horse. Excellent. All right. Admiring the mare that now follows my every command, I muse upon what to call her. A name inspired by history, mythology, it's just a horse, and it should be named as such. Inspired by history. Rucephalus. Alexander the Great's horse. Cool. I can lawfully imprison this person, but only 31% chance of it happening, so I'm going to leave it. My injured marshal has been wounded. Why? Training? Severely wounded and infected wound. I should probably try and get a doctor in. I don't want these people to die. Search for physician. Physician looks after the court, not just you. Just so to clarify that. I didn't even know that. Yeah. So in a couple of days, I should get options. Yep. Okay. Learning 11. No things there. Learning 9. And more expensive. I'll go with that guy. Head of Faith can give you gold. Thank you, Mr. Pope. I will take it. With God's blessing. Now I'm in the red. Cool. All right, so Munster now looks like this. We have a lot more troops. And we're going to have to try and take this really big castle. It's got a garrison of 400. I can get 582 troops. And my wife is pregnant again. Good stuff. So yeah, what are your thoughts, guys? Any questions, let me know. Of course. Engineer for Destruction is Siege Weapon Effectiveness and Naval Speed. Yes. Siege Weapons. I don't have any just yet, but still. Pretty soon. In fact, I'm going to buy some Onagers, which is like the professional one. Unworthy Challenge. At first I thought a simple footman, a fool for stepping into the training field. However, the battle proved more hard fought than I expected, and it gradually became clear... He would be unable to stop this wild, vicious strikes. Okay, so this guy is fighting at me. I strike him down where he stands. I kill the peasant. 20, get, 20 gold. 150 prestige, 150 piety. Hmm. Hmm. Camro, can you be my doctor? Should you? Yeah, I guess so. I guess so. Uh, oops, what happened then? I can't remember how you find the doctor now. Uh, physician, relationships. Oh, court physician. Manchan. Manchan. Pin? Barbershop. I can't rename, actually. It doesn't look like I can rename, but I can name children. Next children, next child is you, Camero. How's that? All right, my vassals are having wars by the looks of it, and he's going to lose. Ormond spared. Oh, it's Vikings. I'm being raided. Oh, great. Curse these meddling savages. Yes. Yes. Uh, ransom. Okay, so now he can afford the full ransom. He's also, why is, is he blinded? Oh, yeah. He's blinded. That, was it in battle? Hmm. Greetings. Oh, yeah. Okay. He's in prison. He's ransoming people. All right. My daughter. Another daughter. My daughter, Camro. <laughs> yes, thank you, Camro. All right. What's next? Where shall we go next? What are you part of? Earldom of Orsary. Bicephalus, my trusty mayor. Renowned trainers approached me after hearing rumors of my mighty mayor, Bicephalus, and offers services. All I can ask is in small compensation. To make us stronger? I pay gold for stuff? I don't know what that was. The Cephalus took to a training well and the results could have seen instantly. No immediate effects. Hmm, wonder if there's a mystery or something there. 
Oh, okay. So Lannister's County is there. Can I declare war currently? I don't have a CB for there or there. So let's manufacture one. Fabricate claim. Yes, stop converting people. Do I have a better steward? Seven's a bit low. This guy, he hates my guts, but he's very powerful. All right, move him over. And as we're swaying him, that number should go down. Okay. I can lawfully imprison Doran still, but no way to do it. Vassal. <laughs> you can designate a, card a, a guardian for Katnik. Oh, Katnik, you're a gambler. Uh, let's give you a steward then, I guess. My wife. There you go. My wife will educate you. You do have Rowdy. But we'll do that. Hmm. Criminal path, here I come. <laughs> I don't know if there is one like that. Alright, oops, what's gonna happen here? Okay, this faction is gonna... Yeah, so he's gonna start a fight with us. Ugh. So, yeah, the guy from Connacht who we took over is going to start a fight with us and bring loads of his mates in, I guess. He's still in prison, so he can't help him. Right. Okay, I'm ready. When you're ready. Okay, there it is. Right to rule Connacht belongs to me by divine right. I finally have the means to make it so. Accept this fact peacefully or I'll make you by force. I will. I have no choice. I will not be threatened. And there's a, there's a civil war. Rally the troops. Raise armies. I'm going to do exactly the same thing again if you're going to do that. Actually, I'm going to go to Connacht and see if they will attack me. Oh, I can no longer sway him and he's no, obviously no longer my steward. I gave him, I rewarded him as well. Too late. Okay. Oh, reassign my chancellor. Oh, we have a 15. Steward. Oh, Earl Ragnvald? Okay, well, you can stay there and focus on domestic stuff. And I guess we'll get another steward. Oh, seven. This guy. Yeah. Okay. Fine. It was, it was right. You just kicked his. You just kicked his butt. Yeah. Well, I can't jail him for no reason. Yeah, I couldn't without becoming a t a, a tyrant. I couldn't have done that, Elbert. That was the problem. Uh, yeah, sorry. That's a bit too slow. Okay. Alright, they're going to attack us. No, you stay there. Stop. Oh, shit. Uh, what? Oh, secrets? No, nope, don't waste any more time. Right, they're going to... Okay, you stop there. They're going to attack us again. We're going to do exactly the same with exactly the same leader who's very good at defense. They have more troops, but I have better... You, I have a better commander. They have more soldiers, but I am defending in the wetlands, which is a huge deal. Better commander and higher quality units. I don't need to worry about scheming. I can just kill him. I can beat him militarily. Right, they're fleeing. While they're fleeing, do we have enough men to take over this place? 292. Oh, I should be alright. Let's go and take over their center, which will obviously end the war. Alright. We are besieging. And they are also besieging, but they're besieging a less important place. Whoa! Way of the Menace. Way of the Mace, sorry. The endless clash of metal on metal. The chafing of armor, the sting of sweat. It's a dance that is as familiar as it is exhausting. To lift my mace, attack, dodge, defend, and repeat. Maybe it would do me some practice with another weapon. Trusted mace, respected expert, plus prowess too. Try, try another weapon, I get more prestige and a point. Yeah, we'll do that. And the war against Murchad died. What happened to him? Died of old age. <laughs> Fair enough. So be it. R.I.P. in peace. F in chats for Connacht. Right. Okay. Right. I have a little bit of money now. If I can ask the Pope for more pretty soon. Low county control in Thurmond. Thurmond. So we know what to do there. Up. There goes my marshal. Sort it out. Come on, Mr. Pope. El Mario, got that time of being in cough shells of breath, got tested for COVID negative. Oh no. I hope you're okay, Mario. 
That sounds like it sucks. I'm going to try and fix my camera for a second. Oops. Because that is not an acceptable amount of crown. I think that'll do. Nope. Damn it. Yeah, that's the best I can do it. Yeah, we'll just leave to leave it like that. Oh boy. All right. I love injuries on the characters' faces. Yeah, that is good because then you know who's injured. You know who's got scurvy based on what they look like. Uh, right. Okay, let's move. Um, fabricate claim. See if I can build stuff. Bicephalus, the horse enthusiast again. There's lots of stuff happening here with this horse. My vassal earned rule or looks Bicephalus up and down, nodding approvingly. Might be a mighty fine man again, then maybe. Mind if I take a ride? Enjoy yourself. He is powerful and he's just took over Connacht. Yeah, sure. Take it for a ride. Alright, so we're going to get a claim here. Okay, see it done. But that means I don't have... Is it Lannister? Yeah, it was Lannister was the other one. But that's owned by the same guy. So I'm going to have to take on that, that, and that at the same time if I want to take the entire duchy. But, well, we'll see. Serve the crown, natural dread, and control. So that's the... This is the strategy tree. That is the dread tree, basically. And that is the gallantry, yeah. So when does it launch? I don't know, Camro. All I know is it's tomorrow. Raid speed, supply capacity. Don't need that. Hit and run. Retreat losses, heavy damage. Okay. Parthian tactics, which lead on to envelopment. Men at arms, counter efficiency plus. Okay. Um, yeah, so I paid for the claim on Osori. Osori. But that's not great. Okay, sweaty tie, the need of food. Oh, no, rest for the weary. Let's venture inside. Oh, no. Uh... Oh, it's a scary abandoned castle. Do we go in or rest? Heightened soldier morale for 10 years. Who knows what we'll find inside? Maybe there is treasure. Searching for the unknown. Darkness, dampness, and desolation reign inside the castle, and all traces of life are gone. Peering up decaying stairs, I spot what might be the remnants of lush tapestries and old paintings. Looking down, I only see darkness reaching far into the ground underneath. Search the upper floors, 53% of 75 gold, or at least 15. 95% chance of face to my fears for 10 years. Stress gain and prowess, yeah. You gained face my fears, yay. Spouse up to the task, uh, sending my wife to help people. Who shall be helping? Uh, I don't know. Doesn't matter. Right now, it doesn't matter. Okay, Mr. Pope, when you're ready. War declared on Earl Domnil. He's at war with someone? No. Oh, no, it says declare war. You can declare war on him, yes. He doesn't have any... Yeah, I'll just take it. I'll just take it. He hasn't got any allies, so I'll just... It's just another thing. I don't have any professional soldiers yet. That's the next thing on the list, I think. I need more money as well. Oh, we're both going for the hill. The hill is obviously a, better, a good defensive area. Uh-oh, we, uh we are fighting. And it says... Probably lose. I am one night shy. Crap. I might lose this, but... Well... I might lose this. Oh, no. Stop. Stay there. They're going to attack us. Right. That changes everything. We're defending in the hills. We'll still probably lose, apparently. You can call on your ally. Yeah. Okay, Welsh guys. Come over. Hopefully, you're not already at war. You no, you're not. Excellent. So, they should be over in a bit. Regardless of what happens here, I'll have support. That's what the marriage has done. Lovely jubbly. 
And we're looking 23 people. Hello, guys. Welcome. It's my first stream back after a couple of weeks of rest. Um, mainly playing this and going outside. Outside, yes. Uh, welcome. If you are new here, why don't you click that follow button? Become a sub, become a patron, visit us in Discord. All the good things are listed down there. Make sure you throw your Twitch Prime, by the way. Bucephalus, the sick man. No, Bucephalus. Bucephalus. 15 gold to keep him alive. Whatever happens is the will of God. But she seems to trust you less. No price is too much. But I can also ask the Pope for money. Thank you, Popey. And am I going to be able to win this fight? Oh, no, they've run away. Thank you. Right, I have 96 gold. I'm going to buy the first of a Men at Arms regiment. Bowmen. So bows are useful in hills and forests and taiga. And there's hills, no forests, though. Yeah, I'll just create that. Okay, so we've got some bowmen. They won't be available until I next raise my forces. Curiosity, is your mare now a character you can interact with? I don't think it's quite a marryable character just yet. I don't even think it's a character because it doesn't have a portrait, so I don't know. Oh, here come my allies. Oh, yeah, the Welsh are with me. 2,000 <laughs> troops now. <laughs> and they're going, right, okay, you're doing that. All right, whoever wins this, if the, yeah, they can't, they haven't got enough troops to take my fort. And if they do take that, they'll take my wife and kids, which is not good. But they've lost their ground, and they've lost their home and enforced demands. I didn't need the Welsh's help, but uh, it did help. So be it. Cool. So I now have this area on the. Oh, so I've taken it. Okay. So this is my area. I could grant it to someone, but I'm going to keep it. A low control in Osri. Okay. So I'll send my guy over. Oh, he's in the army, so we can't. Why can't you. Oh, no. There are no valid targets for the task. Oh, okay. Um, right, let's get into Dublin now. Or do we go for the one higher? I'm not sure. Hmm. Van Beek confirmed for United. Uh, until I see him in the shirt, I won't believe it. Also, I am still I'm more invisible now than I was before. Thanks for letting me know. <laughs> This fucking outfit. If I if I recover my cost for this outfit, which is forty five dollars, I will be very happy. Yeah, any donations go towards the internet bill and refunding this this costume, which I swear I will wear every time I stream Crusader Kings. <laughs> I promise. Oh, oh, Katnick. There's a I when I was King of Scotland when I was testing it, I had a guy called Macbeth. He was there. He was real. A real person called Macbeth is about. All right, uh, let's just recuperate. Now I have a thousand troops far from home. Oh no, a stranger, a a uh, um, a Muslim has come over to here. Please, we need help. You're not very good. Neither's your wife. Um, yeah, embrace God. Convert to Catholicism. Yeah, cool. All right. Um, nope, no more secrets. The scandal. My daughter-in-law, Dennis. Oh, she's the. Oh, what? No! My cousin is the real father of my grandson. Granddaughter. Oh, no. Well, I'm going to... I've got great gained the trait scarred, so victory there. Prestige and attraction opinion. Sweet. Do I, can I, like, imprison her now? I have a reason to imprison her. But it's 45% chance of happening. Yep, in prison. Oh, can I request a divorce, Mr. Pope guy? Good. She's here. Right, she's in prison. Um, negotiate release. Demand conversion or banish? I want a divorce. Oh, I can't do that. He has to do that. Negotiate release. Gain a weak hook. Yes, I'll take the hook. Yeah, negotiate release. Good. Okay. Well, she's out. So she needs to get more kids in. Luckily, that bastard was a daughter. 
So it's not a huge deal. Right, uh, I guess we better move on now. Um, let's get Athlone. Yeah, let's get Athlone. 14 months for that. And now I have more money. Let us get another Men at Arms Regiment. Let's go with Pikemen. Or oh, Onagers. Oh, Manganels is 88. I'll wait a couple of months. We'll get Manganels. I think they're better. Yep. Manganels are better, but they cost more. Usual. Living off the land. Raid speed, supply capacity. Let's move it to Sappers. Siege progress. Yeah. Okay. We have to get these. Envelopment. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Age of Empires 3. I never played Age of Empires. That's my dirty strategy game secret. Never played it. Okay. My wife is pregnant again. Can we have a son, please? Because young Katnik and Camro <laughs> press us. Uh, I now have 87 gold. Yep. See it done. Good. Okay. So I have a claim on this county. They have a alliance with my people. It's interesting. Now we're going to have a fight with them. I'm going to declare war though. I'm going to see if their al allies come in because they're part of my duchy. I'll be surprised if they do. They did not, otherwise it'll be red. Okay, good. Let's go. Wife you sent away is now pregnant. What? I didn't even notice that camera. <laughs> I didn't realize that would work like that. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. Maybe it's hers, maybe it's not. All that matters is who it believes it. My daughter, another daughter. Oh my god. Stop being... My daughter, stop being female. Alright, you're going for my castle at Grabin. Oh, please catch. I've got 15% speed boost increase. Catch him, catch him, catch him. Oh, just got him. Just got him, and we're winning. Alright, uh... So, they're running back to their home base, and they're immediately coming here. We're going to have to cross the ford, but we still would have won. Go. They're in the wetlands. Ah. Oh, okay. Well, we should still win. Am I a knight in this army? Doesn't say. What's my... Prowess. My prowess is 12, so if I am anywhere, I'd be here. It looks like I'm not even in the army. That's that's sad. I love the idea of a king knight just going crazy in the middle of a battlefield while someone else runs it. I didn't turn it off. I turned my son off. That was my son, not me. Okay. I turned my son off, and now I'm going to turn him on. Look, they're going all the way around. I'm going to steal their castle. Commander promoted. Uh, he's pretty terrible. Get him out of my castle. Oh, my chancellor has decided to die in that fight. This guy is 71 years old. I'm not paying for him. My steward, my son and heir. Yeah, let's get my son involved in the courts. So there you go. We can do foreign stuff now. We seem to be pretty stable. Alright, okay. 100%. Cool. I get this area. Nicely done. And disband. Now wait a little bit and I'll make sure my marshal is actually training troops now. And then once we're full up, we'll go get Desmond. Bucephalus, a renowned trainer has approached me. Uh, stronger... Trusty Mare took a training well. Okay, I want, I want to know what the end of this horse chain is about. I'm going to turn my son on, yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, Maladin? Yes, indeed. I remember I was just, I went last, a couple of nights ago, I went, oh, for God's sake, I'm a wife, what's going on? She went, 
I just got my wife pregnant. Now we've both got lovers pox. Sorry, we just got my daughter. Uh, sorry, my cousin pregnant. We've both got lovers pox. <laughs> she just looks at me a bit. Hmm. Hit and run. Yeah, let's just build up to this end of this tree. Okay, undisciplined recruits. Today I'm observing Mayor Dolgus. He trains some new levies, but the recruits under his command resemble a disorganized mob more than an army. I look on him as he struggles to gain control of his own clearly pushed to his limits. While it's never easy to train new soldiers, he seriously needs to do better than this. Teach him what I know about command. Cheer him up after the training. Chastise him for his failure. Yes. Uh, another horse enthusiast. Earl something or other. Yeah, right. Oh, we're using the horse as a diplomatic thing. That's good. All right. Uh, through downcast lashes, as my eyes meet Countess Emir for what feels like the 20th time tonight. <gasps> I know I'm not imagining things. Even from the other end of the table, her gaze feels as intense as the midday sun. <sighs> she wants me, and I can feel my body responding, awakening. But Earl Rudri, her husband and my vassal, is also here tonight. I'll give her a good tumble. Afterwards, Emma falls to the mattress with a thump, her breath ragged and her eyes half closed. Languriously, I wipe a sweat from her chest with gentle fingers. Merely a moment later, Amir pushes my hand away with an apologetic smile. It's nearly morning. I better leave. Can you stay a little while, little while longer? She's become my lover. Or she needs to run away. And... Oh, she's a non-believer secret. Excellent. Amir appreciates my casualness. Excellent. I have done the laying. I have got the lay. <laughs> and now she's pregnant. Obviously. It is definitely mine. Um, I'll ask her. Of course it's yours, Merchat. I worry someone will have heard her, but we remain alone in the silence. Good it is too, for I suddenly have a lot to think about. I'm going to wait. If it's a son, I'll, I'll claim it. If it's not... <laughs> Sorry, love. Here we go. She's pregnant. How long does it tell you when? It doesn't tell you how long. Eucephalus is sick. No! Fix him, fix him, fix him. Oh, right. I can upgrade something. I have 100 gold. Uh, things. Buildings have slots. You can't quite see them all. Yes, you can. Um, yeah. Construct a new building. Outposts increase levies, but also increases defense. Farms. Wetland farms specifically do farming things. Hunting grounds do cavalry and defender. Barracks are too expensive, but military camp increases archer damage, which is good for us. Also, Levies plus 100. We'll do that. Also, when can I... Oh, I can ransom this guy now. Oh, this is the guy we just got, isn't it? Oh, right. Okay. How much do you want for him? 10? Is he worth 10? 10, 10, 16. Can I recruit? In fact, he might be better recruited. Evil atheist. There's a lot of atheists around. Uh, I'm going to negotiate his release. I want to recruit him. I also want to get blackmail on him. And I want him to convert to cat... Catholicism. We can do all of that. Cool. Welcome. Uh, ask Pope for gold. Yes, please. And I can ransom... Yeah, that's the same guy. Okay, I should have someone else in my prison, right? Yeah. He's been in prison for three years. Whoops. Domnal. Can I ransom him? No. He's got no money. He's useless. Can I execute him? Yep. <laughs> RIP in peace. And there is this one. Rational Absolver. She's only 14. She's betrothed to someone in my... Uh, can just ransom, yeah. All right, just send him out. Send her out, that's fine. Okay. Uh, a murky lineage, if they only knew. Uh oh I couldn't claim him then. Damn, I had to wait until it was... I would have waited until it was born. If it was a boy, I would have taken it. But now I can't. The option's gone. Tax refund. Yay. Okay, children lack guardians. Good deal. Who lacks a guardian? 
Brazzers, you're lacking a guardian, mate. Um, what to do with you? Covetous knave. Deceitful and charming. Let's go for the intrigue. Who's my best intriguer? My spy master and nephew is not about it. I'll do. And Camro is a bold planner who is intelligent and bossy. Right. Um, I shall train you, Camro. We'll see about um, getting you a husband eventually. Okay. Uh, building take ages, by the way. Like years. So you're going to do that. Speeding that up. Right, I have 114 gold. What else can I do here? Invite knights. I have pretty good knights. This guy's this guy's sick. This is the guy we just we got. The first knight we got was him, wasn't it? He's in fact I might marry him to Camaro. <laughs> Congratulations, you're gonna marry into our family. We're gonna matrilineal it, but you'll still accept it. Wait, okay, so how do I do this? Okay, find spouse. No, arrange marriage, right? Yeah, arrange marriage. There we go. Matrilineal. Camero, you're going to marry the biggest, strongest knight around. <laughs> I want to keep these traits. And this this guy's cool. I'm keeping him. Excellent. Camero. Oh, wait. You married him? Oh, two married. Yeah, so you're eight years old. So in eight years, he'll be 40. <laughs> I unclicked matril. No, it didn't. Did I? I can break it. And then I can do it again. Oh, there we go. Yeah. He'll still take it. Good. They're not married until they're married. Okay, right. I 123. Shall we up level up our archers? Yes, that's good. Level 2 archers. Yeah. All is fair. Many tr treatises have been written on honorable conduct during war. But those authors' lives weren't on the line when they put pen to paper. I know from the experience the best way to defeat my enemies is to ensure we only engage battle on my terms. The question is, what terms are the most advantageous? 39% chance of practice manipulative tactics. 60% chance I gain the nickname The Foolish. Hit and run tactics where my fares foes down. I will not stoop to dirty fighting. Yeah, hit and run, sure, whatever. I don't have any horses, and I can't do much hit and run, but... Right, war is hell. The last thing we need is a fight. Declare war. Desmond, you're coming to us. Off we go. Are they even going to bother forming up? Oh, they are. Uh, right. Sudden shock. Uh-oh, it's the falling off the horse thing again. Oh, I, fe I won it. I won. Cool, I got some experience. There's my experience bar down there, by the way. When that reaches, you get a point. Cool. Okay, what's happening here? I mean, it is right. Well, I should. Oh, is he married yet? No, he's not. Irrational gambler, but really good at defending. Oh, well, yeah, they've got a really big keep here. So, yeah, this is a strong keep. Fort level is too damn high. So it's going to take a while, but uh, we're on it. The fort level is very high. Probably They might take this before I take that. With glee, I took Camero out playing with a bow, and to my surprise, she ran into a wounded doe. When she showed me the animal, its wounds were evidence of a slow, torturous death. Camero just smiled. <laughs> Camero, you maniac. Uh, keep the sadistic trait. It's just an animal. Show me what you could have done to fell the animal yourself. When I get stressed, but you get ambitious. Yeah, I'm not doing stress. It's just an animal. You're, you're a sadistic, Camero. <laughs> All right. Let's go. Um, living off the land. I'm going to get the strategist because it's pretty good. Diplomacy, martial, fatal casualties. Crosses water without advantage penalties so I can ford. Or is that from landing? Yeah, I guess that's from, because I'm a strategist, that's from when I get off a boat. When you get off a boat, you get a debuff for a little bit.
Uh, right, what's going on there? Catnick, you've grown up. Oh, you're a covetous absolver. You're an average. You're actually a fairly good all-round daughtery type. Shall we get an, an alliance with someone? <gasps> the Prince Henry of France! <gasps> no, but he's spindly! <laughs> You're going to marry Prince Henry of France, Nick. Congratulations. Um, well done. Congratulations. I now have an alliance with Prince Philip of France. France isn't that cool right now. Um, uh, but I am not getting involved versus the Holy Roman Emperor and King Alfonso of Castile. Uh, sorry, you're on your own there, lad. It's all kicking off down there. <laughs> the Holy Roman Empire is cool as hell. Now I'm a fucking princess. <laughs> yes. Oh, I could have just left the garrison there and gone fought them, but um, as soon as we take this, it's over. 100%. Yeah. There we go. Enforce demands. Give me that. He becomes my vassal. He probably doesn't like me. He definitely doesn't like me. Sway. 70% chance of swaying him. Which is good. He has a secondary spouse. Oh, because he is an insular Catholic, he can have many. He can have uh, concubines. That is obviously the positive side of remaining as an insular Catholic. How is the religion looking right now? Eh, needs to be sorted. Let us tell you what. Fabricate a claim in yeah, Dublin. Yeah, we'll do Dublin. You know, it's the biggest city in the world, Dublin. Because he keeps doubling and doubling and doubling. <laughs> Akon, how goes it? I uh, well, thank you. I enjoyed my time off. My first proper time off since I moved to the States, actually. My first, like, weeks off from streaming. Yes, I'm glad you're all back as well. And thank you so much to the people who've already shown their support. I appreciate that. And it's very much needed. Two weeks off without pay when you're your own boss. <laughs> it's weird. Any donations towards the internet bill? Obviously very much appreciated. Alright, let's keep going. How old am I now? I'm 58. Oh, I'm 58. Uh, my health is fine. How's my son doing? My son is... a chancellor. He's pretty good at the old swordy stuff, but he's arrogant. Generous and impatient. Okay, he'll be a decent son. I hopefully... Can I create titles yet? Oh, I can. You can create the Kingdom of Ireland. I need 500 gold. I wonder if we can do that before we get... Before we die. If, all we've got to do is survive at least three... At most three more years if I don't spend any money. Roy's Brian can marry? Oh, who's this? My granddaughter. Okay, I had a granddaughter before the game started, it seems. Uh, Alliance power. Duke Eustace of Normandy. All right. We'll have a Norman alliance. It's a good marriage, actually. And it's two ginger kids together. What don't you love about that? Bicephalus, as I make my way up to the stable, I'm greeted by the happy nays of Bicephalus. She seems eager to stretch her legs in the beautiful weather. I can do nothing but agree. I must take every moment to practice diligent training for stress or lose stress. Diligent training for stress. Why not? I can designate a guardian to stop being female. <laughs> Let's give it to the wife. Uh, okay. Oh, see it done. It's going to cost 87. No. Yeah. Come back. So since we know it's 100%, you can just come back and start converting areas. The gift of generosity. My daughter, Camero, has been impressed with one of the household knights for very long. After finally meeting in person, she has repeated the warrior's words to herself. Give others their due, and you will receive your own in turn. Keep generous. Become diligent. Become patient. Keep diligence. Oh, keep generous. Yeah, why not? Oh, you're pretty good, Camero. As a daughter. As daughters go, you're a pretty good one, Camero. Okay. All right. We're going. I'm just going to save money so we can get the king. The kingdom of Ireland so I can pass that on. Catnick is married. Congratulations. You married an evil blackguard 
who's got disputed heritage and is spindly. However, you are banging a prince of France. Congratulations. <laughs> oh dear. Bicephalist, the whole thing's easy ass. Uh, yeah, sure, write it. She's great. He's got spindly legs. Alright, four. You can declare war on Countess Befal. Oh, really? They have allies. The Duke of Lothian? Oh, yeah, we're gonna leave that until I'm king, at least, and then I can probably vassalize these. Rest for the weary. Oh, it's that house, hosp hospital, castle thing again. Okay, let's go inside. And let's go and face my fears. Yes! Gain face my fears. Which is what exactly? Prowess plus one. A demonstration of leadership. My Earl, rather than have been hovering around my council meetings lately, no one is interested in my leadership. I cannot help but feel the man is waiting for me to impress him. He's a cowardly planner. I'm not gonna teach him. Yeah, we'll do whatever that was. Uh, no, I can't. I thought I told you to go and convert people. It's gonna take 16 years for him to convert Connacht. Camero seems to enjoy our latest feast immensely. She got on along quite well. She keeps the trait gregarious. Yeah, keep it. You got 15 diplomacy. And I'm marrying... When, wait, you're 13? Okay. Renowned trainer has approached. Okay, 15 gold for that, sure. What happens with this? How long do horses live? This is going to be a very old horse. Think something's going down in the Welsh lands? Yes, there are three kingdoms there now. There's the Principality of Powys, Gwynedd, and Dehubi. I don't care. Not to do with me. I'm going to be King of Ireland soon. Oh no, I died! No! He died of old age. An old man, he lived long, fulfilling life. Petty King Brian ascends to the throne, having mastered many skills. He is surely to be admired by his subjects. I will continue as Brian. Brian that is called Brian. Literally Brian that is called Bri Bri Brian. Brian. Alright, so now I'm a new king. I'm 40 years of age. I have a martial upbringing. Do I bother with the martial upbringing or do I do stewardship? Let's go with stewardship this time. And we'll do domain focus. Yep, okay. So I'll get domain-related tasks and stuff. Okay, I don't have a chancellor. And I have this guy who doesn't have a job, but he is a very powerful vassal, so I'll give him that. And you can work on domestic stuff. Everyone else seems to like me, apart from this guy. We're going to have to sway our bishop again, so we can get money from the Pope. Oh, we already are, actually. Good. Um, designate a guardian for... Oh, my, my daughter, my... Yeah, okay. Uh, guardian, Domnol, you can be Guardian. And I'm very close to creating the Kingdom of Ireland. I've inherited everything from my dad. Lovely. Yes, I got everything. Nice. Player heir. Rosnick, blah, blah, blah. betrothed to who? Oh, it's the ginger kid, yeah. Eustace of Normandy. Okay. Oh, yeah, wife, council job. What are you best that, wifey? Court politics plus 10. Yeah, I'll take that. Yeah, so the wife halves whatever she has and can be put into any role that you feel tonight. What the? She's an adulterer. I still don't have a son. My heir will be this one. Christ. If I get the chance, I'm going to smash something. <laughs> I need to get an heir. Right. In fact, shall we... Uh We'll have a look at that now. Is there any courtiers around that are hot? <laughs> this one, 54, too old. This one, half-sister. She's only a half-sister. Seduce. 0% <laughs> chance of this one. Daughter and heir. I can smash that when she turns 19. You can do incest then. Only when they're 19 for some reason. 
Okay, everyone's too young now. Okay, I've got to wait a few years. I am not seducing you. Oh, well, come on then, Nick. Let's go and smash then. Let's try that. <sighs> Your half sister. Seduce. Zero percent chance. Damn it. Because she's so far away, I think. Well, I'll keep my ears to the ground, but I do need a son. Uh, lawfully imprisoned Dorian. I'm going to smash that. 20% chance of smashing it. All right, let's go. I almost missed the fact you were about to try and seduce me. Yes, I was. Then I saw your face. <laughs> Very good. Go. I just need 500 gold and it can start developing things. Brazzers can marry. All right, Brazzers. You're still about. What's going on with you then? In fact, Brazzers, I'm going to do matrilineal and you're going to marry for trait purposes. Inheritable traits. Oh, this comes with an alliance as well as robust. Beautiful. But he's lowborn. <laughs> he's 42. All right, he's 20. Yeah, this guy, this Saxon guy. Anyway, gotta go and do adult things like renewing lease agreements. Boo! Just wait until they raise the rates on you. Alright, excellent. Great. I'm marrying for that reason. My counselor died. Oh. Come on, Popey. Give me gold. I can do it. Master of words. Alright, oh, okay. I need to write a letter to seduce her. Um, and do it based on her personality, basically. Her rational, brilliant mind makes sense. Does CK3 have army attrition? Yes. I think each uh, zone or each area has supply limit. And once your army's huge, it takes more supplies. Once all the supplies are gone, you got a problem. Some generals can um, increase the length of your supplies. Oh, no, my wife's pregnant. Maybe I'll have a son. Take care, camera. Uh oh, is it crashed? Boom. Thought about it, didn't it? It definitely thought about crashing then. Hmm. Uh, it's another daughter! For fuck's sake. Not another one. Why can't I have sons? Seriously. None of my. Non, neither me or my dad has had sons, and we've had like seven or eight kids. Oh, damn it. Oh, 500. Right, there it is. This is the moment. I can create the Kingdom of Ireland. Create. Create. I am now a mighty high king. Oh, achievements are unlocked now. Moving up in the world. Increase your rank. Start as an Irish ruler. Great, okay. Uh, someone else. My wife is once again absent from our bedchambers. Oh, no. She's smashing someone else. Do you have another Dennis? <laughs> Tell me, are you cheating on me, Dennis? Let me know. Oh, neighbors can be vassalized. Yep, I can vassalize these two. Oh, I don't care about you anymore. Okay, I can vassalize you. They'll accept it and they'll tell you. And I can vassalize them. My wife says no. I'm not cheating on you. Oh, look at the size of my kingdom now. Oh, look. People who own England also own an area of the island of Ireland in the top right. <laughs> All right, well, I vassalized. I have three out of seven of my domain tops. Are you actually wearing that? No, I'm not. Good day. Good day. All right, King of Ireland. Sweet. And, yep. We're going to marry our big, strong stud of an Irishman. Hopefully. I'll have um, sons and stuff. All right, this is where I get a little bit... Oh, I can create the Duchy of Ulster. That costs money as well. Adopt special succession type. Right, do I have the ability to... Yeah, okay. I can move up my authority now, which will slightly piss off the vassals. 
But because... They, well, it gives more money and more troops if I do this. So yeah, they're going to be a little bit annoyed. But I think everyone's quite happy right now. So we're going to pass that law. And can I change my succession? Okay, I can move... No, I can't because I don't have the hereditary rule innovation yet. So I can't do anything about the succession laws or gender preference. Nope, I can't do any of that because they need to be unlocked through the Irish culture tree. Um, which hereditary rule will be next, I guess? What, what are we doing right now? I can't see what we're training. Oh, no. Horseshoes? Uh, all right. Yeah, all right. Keep the horseshoes then for a while. How long does it take? It takes a long time, doesn't it? 17 years? All it, all it gives me is movement speed plus 10%. 42 years for hereditary rule. So maybe my grandson might be able to put it in. Royal pejorative. Absolute crown authority. Yeah, let's go with hereditary rule then. It's going to take a while. In fact, well, actually, what's closest? Communal government? 10 years? What does it do? Oh, develop helps the development. Infrastructure and stuff. Horseshoe, 17 years. <laughs> hereditary rule is important. Um, once you get half of these, by the way, you unlock all of them and move up into the next um, thing, which will be high medieval and late medieval. So it takes a long time. Long, long time. Accusations of witchcraft, bloodstained cloth, crow's feathers, strange smelling concoctions. This is the evidence presented to me by a group of villagers from Athlone as proof Elbrig has been practicing witchcraft in her hut on the outskirts of the village. The villagers claim their evil work must be the cause of their poor harvest and calling for her execution. The evidence is circumstantial. Release her. Upset peasants for five years. She must burn for her crimes. Satisfied peasant and piety. Which, you say? I could use another advisor. I'm going to burn her. Burn her! Burn her! Burned. R.I.P. in peace. She would have made a hell of a uh, counsellor. Um, but I'm not in that mood. All right. I guess we better take Dublin. Uh, Dublin is owned by this guy who has one ally and it's Cornwall. Oh, it's not even Cornwall. It's a particular duchy. It's an Earl of Devon. Can I just declare war on that through the jeu? I can. De jure county. Yeah, I have more troops than you. Let's go to war about it. Right, because I'm all new and kingy, I want to. I want to. I want to. I want to lead them. <laughs> I'm going to lead them. All right, let's go and get Dublin. Then I'll start developing stuff. Oh, nope, they're fleeing. Wow, why do you have 2,800? What the hell happened there? How do you have so... Oh, you're Norwegian, so you've rallied everyone. They also have 800 skirmishes, 100 archers, and 20 onagers. Okay, I might have to ask for reinforcements. Uh, which I don't have. Crap. I didn't check any of this. Right, let's go to, I don't know, Scotland. Hi, do you, do you want to do a marriage? Pretty cool. Okay. I, uh... Matt, get... Ooh, what the hell happened then? I heard a noise. Antichrist, if you just sub, thank you so much for potatoes indeed. All the potatoes. Uh, right. Let's... Move on. Okay. Marrying. You want to marry my daughter with someone of yours? Prince Malcolm? Prince Malcolm. They'll do it. Okay. Cool. Accept. Make an alliance. And come and help. Because I'm going to need it. Please accept. Excellent. Alliance formed. Call allies. <laughs> Please, King Duncan. Are you at war with anyone? No, you're at peace. This should help us then. <sighs> I thought we might have to take a big hit then of prestige because literally twice as many people. Excellent. He's going to come and help. So we'll keep an eye out. There he is. There comes his troops just behind. 1,800. So we need to meet up at some point. I'm going to go and wait in the wetlands. I don't know where they're off. Uh-oh. They're off down to my capital. Oh, boy. Where are you going to land? I need to be there first. Oh, crap. I can't afford...
Alright, yeah, marry that. Alliance formed. Oh, let's get the let's, let's get um, Normandy involved. Oh boy, this might be very painful. Also, I need to make sure that none of my family members are in this on the on the cousin, spy master, knight, and friend, vassal, guest, knight, brother-in-law. He can die. Vassal, 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 vassal. Okay, fine. Oh boy, you better get over here pretty quick. Oh, the king himself is leading it. Right. Uh, I'm going to run and meet up with them. Thank you very much for the sub, Antichrist. Greetings from the High King Brian. Excellent. They are coming as well. Oh, yes. Here we go. Oh, no. They're also... Oh, my God. That's the army from Devon. Where's the Normans? There they are. 2,000 Normans. You just need to get here in time. Crap. Oh, yeah, they are sieging. Okay. Guys, they might have a problem here. I f didn't realize that they were Norwegian and could rally everything. So I'm going to wait. Hopefully, if Normans get over there, great. But, okay, he is going to the ships. So I need to get close. I'm going to get close. Okay. We're going to run out now or never. Dorian will be mine. Yeah, I'm going to smash. Into the breach. As the shadows lengthen, I find Dorian in the darkness beneath the castle wall, waiting for me. She comes towards me, hesitantly at first, then eagerly. I hear her breath quicken as I pull her close. In the shade of the wall, we make love. The guards patrolling are oblivious to our passion. Once more <laughs> into the breach. After taking the castle, I withdraw. <laughs> Alright, I might lose... No, I'm not going to lose the whole thing, but I might have problems with my family being taken captive. Like this. Oh, dear. Alright, let's meet up. All hail the Normans. Alright. Everyone, let's go. We're all meeting up now. What the AI is really good at is following um, your... As an alliance, they do follow you very well. And they've got an extra 1,600 coming from somewhere. Where the hell are you getting all these troops? Maniacs. Oh, yeah, attack. You can unlock a stewardship point. Thank you. Uh, gold obligations. This is very useful when paired with... Digging for dirt. Oh, truth is relative. So you can fabricate a hook or blackmail, and then you get them to pay you for it. So, yeah, very good. I'm going to get gold obligations for now. Yeah, that's good. Do I have anyone I can blackmail right now for money? I can. I can blackmail my wife for a hook. Excellent. I'll do that because I know she's an adulterer. I might get rid of her as a result of that. Excellent. So now I have a hook on it. If I request a divorce, she won't give it me. But if I use a hook... Oh, she won't. It's got to be for the Pope. Never mind. Damn. I thought I knew how that was going to go. All right. Chase them. Back to Dublin. Let's go. Wounded my vassal. Oh, no. Okay. All right, just updating the stream title to Potato King. Here we go. And right, okay, fight me. Oh, they somebody pussed out. They were like, we can't do this. Can we catch them? If we catch them... Oh, we can. We can definitely catch them. Let's go, boys. Okay, so... Yeah, they're all gonna come. Uh, chances are even. So I open the battle, but then my mates come in. We're just gonna dogpile them now. Yes. And I am leading this battle. I have 18 knights wounded. My friend. No! Okay. 
content villain. <laughs> Alright, we win. Okay, and now we take Dublin. And they're having a fight with somebody else, apparently. We must have another war going on. Alright, let's um, finish them off. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, they're going all the way up there. I'm going to go down here. Take their last base. So they can't do anything. You feel free to go and fight them. Wait, they won it. Uh oh. Whoa, where did you come from? Run away, please, Kingy. Okay, you can run away now. Or maybe they'll get there in time. No, they won't. But uh, we lost a lot of men there. <laughs> but luckily, our allies helped. I have six men left. It's not good. I'm going to have to wait for these allies to win this for me. I don't know where those guys came from on the boats. But there they were. A secret exposed. My cousin copulated with my daughter and heir, who's currently married to the Duke of Normandy. That's not great, is it? Okay, hurry up, take that land. Okay, 100% done. Enforce demands, enforce demands. I now have Dublin, but I don't have Leinster. Can I vassalize you, Leinster? No, he won't accept. Well, all right, disband all. Need to recover our manpower after that. Mr. Pope, sir, can I have some money? Thanks. Adopt special title succession. No, I can't. Uh, declare war against the Dane law or Wales. Oh, Wales next, I guess. Uh, powerful vassals expect council positions. Can I actually offer you any council positions? You want to be a spy master, I guess. Yes, you can be my spy master. Oh, I've got two good spy masters. Rangbald. Yeah, go for it. Uh, okay. That's the same guy. Steward of eight. We are some of that guy. Eesh. Okay. Okay, who's the best? There we go. Payen de Crisi. He's also a decent knight, so we'll take him. All right, good. What was that there? I can lawfully impose and darned. All right. And he's in, she's in prison. Why are you in prison? Oh, is that my lover? She had a kid. That one's mine, I guess. Maybe not. I'm going to execute her. <laughs> Out of tyranny. All right. Ransom? A favor. Oh no, she will not accept it. So what are you gonna do? You're gonna stay in the dungeon? I'm gonna torture you then. Oh, I gain stress because I'm generous. I'm not my dad. I forgot about that. I forgot about that. I'm not my father. I am a different type of leader. All right, I probably uh, low county control in Dublin. Well, I'm still 20 people here. Thanks, guys. Not a normal time for streaming for me, but uh, grateful that you're here. I'm going to go on with this as long as I can. I wanted to do 10 hours and 66 minutes of streaming. <laughs> or 10.66 hours. So, like, 10 hours, 40 minutes. Emerging lunacy? Lately, I've had a hard time thinking straight. My thoughts are scattered like clouds upon a summer sky. The birds outside my window have started singing another tune. Other people seem to willfully talk in riddles and no one acknowledges that cilantro is a truly horrid spice. Right, there is an issue there. Cilantro is the... Wasn't cilantro coriander? When did that happen? 
Cilantro is coriander. In America, they call it cilantro. Did they call it cilantro in medieval times? And then coriander came when it became accessible from India or something. Wait, what was I thinking? No immediate effects. Okay. Uh, I'm thinking about sending him away, but uh, maybe not. Gain trait, lunatic. I am a lunatic now. Lunatic. Minor health penalty. Oh, well, that's all it is, really? Plagued by hallucinations, delusions, disorganized thoughts. Brian struggles to distinguish between what is real and what is not. Brian that is called Brian. Faction created against me. Oh, peasants. They always annoyed. Yeah, hopefully getting control of the county will help this. Yeah, I'm not going to help it. Uh, 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 declare war on Countess Alban. Oh, I can just take this area, can I? No, she's in jail. Oh, she's a part of m man? Alright, well, um, I guess we'll just do that then. Wow, these are all just falling like dominoes, aren't they? I don't think I'll need help here. I hope not, at least. I like the way that she's already in, in prison. <laughs> Saves me a job. Oh wow, it's just Ulster? And then I've got the entire island. New lifestyle perk for stewardship. Okay. Can we go tax man? That increases tax effectiveness by 25%. But then let's go to uh, lifestyle. Yeah, let's go to school lottery. Just because I want to blackmail people and then take their money. That's like that's like the meta game right now, as far as I can tell. She didn't even defend it. Enforce. Thank you very much. Another title can be created. Another duchy, I should say. Right, how long until I can vassalize this? I can't really because it's not independent. So Northern Ireland will remain English. <laughs> oh dear. Right, now I can do all sorts of things. Um, I'm going to move my capital to the area which has the best development. Development is... Well, development is... Measure of the local infrastructure and technological advancement. Higher development increases levies, taxes, and supply limit. I might move to Dublin. Development 6. Development 11. Development 9. Development 10. Yeah, Dublin. Move capital to Dublin. You can do that once per lifetime, I think. And do it now. Okay, good. Right, so Dublin is now my capital. All roads lead to Dublin, as you can see here. Okay, Dublin. I've got two more things I can manage. Great. Uh, I have some money. Let's spend it. Uh, walls and towers. Yes. Three years to build. It'll take a while. Prisoner taken in siege. Hello. Fearless Atheist. Holy shit. 22. <laughs> Recruit. And give me a hook, which I can then blackmail you with soon. Excellent. Watch your step now. Right, what I'm going to do now is going to make money. This is the cheat. This is the cheat for the game. I'm going to clip this. This is it. I'm going to develop. I'm going to go anywhere. Well, you can go to areas like a Holy Roman Empire and stuff like that. Um, and Paris, and... Let's go to Byzantine. Can we go here? Not part of your realm. Oh, that's my marshal. I clicked on the wrong thing. Go to your spy master. Click on him. Send him to a massive emperor. Empire. Oh, okay. My daughter and princess... Right, okay. My god. So, my daughter is ill as a bastard. It's confirmed. My granddaughter. And have been imprisoned because of it, which is fair enough. 
possibly to be executed. And I can't do anything about it, really. Uh, let's assign you. Okay. So, yeah. Now, right now, my spy master is over here, I think. Doing spy mastery stuff. Unless he's still over here. He, he couldn't go that far. All right. We'll start this again. <laughs> I'll start this again. I'll do this as the guide. Okay, so this is the meta of the game now. You go and get your spy master, send him to a place to uncover secrets and fabricate hooks, and then using the uh, stewardship tree, which we will see uh, in a little while, in fact here, um, you can get, sorry, using the intrigue tree, go to schema and get truth is relative, and then in the stewardship tree, you get gold obligations, which means when you fabricate hooks on people, you can get them to pay you to say goodbye to it. They're basically blackmailing them for money, which is best. So now I know this guy's an unbeliever. And if I go to my little intrigue panel, I see hooks and secrets. That guy should be there. Oh, these guys are all here. Blackmail for hook. Blackmail for hook. Blackmail for hook. You're going to piss them off, obviously. Blackmail refused. Sometimes they refuse the blackmails. And yeah, only one outcome. A threat was made and only one outcome. Okay, this one did. Um, my, my, my wife, who is an adulterer, has said, Okay, I accept your blackmail. I can demand payment, but unfortunately, she doesn't have enough gold right now. <laughs> I'll have to do a video on that in a bit properly, but um, that's it. That's basically the meta. I have exposed it. So this guy is also a non-believer. Can I do this now? No, I can't. Not working as it should do. Interesting. My wife was executed for being an adulterer. Okay, blackmail for hook. Your daughter, Prince Ain of Brian, is my heir. Why can't I have a son? I know I'm 48, but Jesus. Is there any hot girls? <laughs> My half-sister. It's only a half-sister. Seduce. Zero percent. Damn it. My daughter and heir is 14. God damn it. I can't even do that one. God damn it. Why can't I have a child with my daughter? Oh, it's got a 40 percent. Okay. Seduce my wife. Ugh. Let's try. I need to get more kids. Yes, hot girls in your area. Literally everything coming out of your mouth will get you locked up in real life. Really? Well, it's only words. I'm not actually doing it to a physical person. Saying words won't get you arrested, Maladin. Can you invite to court all the women and seduce them? Sometimes. Um, I could do that. Hearts and minds. What's going on? I've been made aware of my wife. Only my wife of 30 years. Very close to her daughter. Okay, let's get... Um, hmm... Maybe we should just seduce the daughter. 95% chance? Yes. Who's the daughter? Flan? Nah, we'll leave that. I gotta seduce Flan instead. I just need a son. Okay, no more. there are no more spies there. Let's send out the spy to somewhere else. Okay, let's do this again. Send the spy to... Um, capital, which is, I guess, Hampshire. So, spy is in... King Olaf Haraldson's domain fabricating hooks in order for me to blackmail. It takes some time, but he'll come back with one eventually. Um, now, in the meantime, let's seduce my uh, granddaughter. Or well, my own daughter? My own daughter, yeah. Um, okay. Right. So, illegitimate claim has been made to this guy. So, wait. Wait, what the? I am keep trying to explain this and I'm doing it wrong. <laughs> Is a sodomite. Blackmail. Sodomite. Got a weak hook on him. Okay, so I've got a hook on this guy now. I fabricated a hook. I can't demand payment because everyone's poor as shit. Fuck it, hell. Amorous understanding. Oh, wow. 
Oh, that's right. That's her bastard. Right, okay. Now I understand. My spies will uncover the truth. 50-50, 77%. I could convince her. This is very interesting. Flam is a woman of taste. This will help me win her affection. Yes. Come on, Flan. Bastions and curtain walls have been made in Dublin. Right, what next? Let's just do let's fill out these at level ones first. Hey, what's this one? Oh yeah, so there is also duchy buildings. If you control the entire duchy, you get access to one of these. Certain areas have access to certain special buildings like cathedrals and stuff if they're famous. Uh, right, um, money? No, let's go for barracks. Yeah, let's go for barracks. I usually like to put all the military ones in the castle and then all the money ones in the towns. Makes sense. Uh, right, grow. Prince Ain has grown up fast and you're about to marry Prince Duncan of Scotland. Wonderful. Okay. So I'm just going to build up Dublin for now. New intrigue lifestyle. Truth is relative. Right. Okay. Right. I'm going to do this now. I'm going to record this as it will go on YouTube later. Okay. So this is the meta. Oh, God's sake. As soon as I stay, say that, a flipping peasant revolt begins. Ugh. Peasants. Oh, this guy. Somebody's trying to kill me. Okay. Raise army. Finish. Uh, where is the army? In Dublin? Okay. Go. Oh, I need to build, move the rallying point. Peasants don't like the meta. Yeah, okay. I need to move the rallying point somewhere more central. But they haven't got enough peasants to attack the castle. So, what's the point? Oh, shit. Greetings. Uh, I failed to impress any secrets on Maria. Yeah, this, this is spy master said. She hasn't got any secrets, but we could make one for her. <laughs> Costs money, but I get a strong hook on her. Okay. Okay. Oh, crusades are about to begin. Pope Stephanus has said, yeah, Christian pilgrims in the Holy Land suffer all manner of abuse and there is. So at some point, very soon, there will be a crusade of which I will take part because they're bloody brilliant. Crusades, bloody brilliant. All right, I've won the peasant war. Enforce demands. You, are you any good? He is good. I might forgive him. Recruit. He'll accept it. And game weak hook. Yeah, he'll also accept that. Sweet. Okay. So pretty soon, I'll be able to do that. Okay, now I'll do it. Okay, so this is the meta. What you do is you go into your tech tree and you make sure that you have truth is relative, which is enables you to fabricate a hook on someone, and golden obligations, which enables you to demand payment for that hook or blackmail. And so, I can go to... I don't know. Let's go over to this court here. Let's go over to King Olaf. And go to his court. And go to someone who's probably got money, like his archbishop. And fabricate a hook. 88% chance of it happening, thanks to my spy master and my skills. So that's going on right now. He will fabricate a hook. I'm in the middle of recording. God damn it! I'm recording a guide while streaming, and you've come in and started making all the noise and talking. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. <laughs> I am streaming. I'm going to clip it out of the stream, but it's too late now, so that's not like the fifth time I've tried. <laughs> Stress plus 10. Uh, right, okay, let's hurry up and bang my bastard daughter. Right, okay. Uh, what do I do now? The armies of Pyden will give a chance to learn. She likes war stuff, so let's go ahead and do that. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, something pipes. Oh no. Okay, the celebration comes to an end. Okay. Oh, fabricate hook. Okay. Oh my god, why isn't it, will it, will it moving? Uh, right, stop there. Sorry, what's happening? Oh, the King of Scotland? Wants me to help the peasant uprising. No, nope. I'm not helping you. You're helping me. Every woman for herself. The forceful knock at the door clears every bit of drowsiness from my mind. Who disturbs a high king at this hour? Late night visitor is none other than my queen who doesn't share a bed with me. 
I have to speak with you privately, away from listening ears. I've discovered very something very interesting. Oh, okay. Because I have a hook on her. She's saying, I can give you this info. But you're going to have to say, stop saying I owe you one. No, nope, I'll have you in my pocket. Thanks. Okay. Right. We are doing a crusade. It's a crusade to Jerusalem. Am I going to pay for it or am I going to go? My warriors will be ready to fight. Yes, that's where we're going to go. The Kingdom of Ireland shall be represented in the Crusade. There we are. So, uh, now I have to... Oh, actually, is this, when does it say? It launches in 15 months, so I've got some time. It also says I have to give a beneficiary. So, the beneficiary is somebody who will uh, gain from our prestige if it's successful. If we single-handedly save the crusade, do the crusade, and get Jerusalem and stuff. Um, this person will be rewarded with land, probably, or maybe even a title. Shall we choose Katnik, our half-sister, who's an adulterer? <laughs> Alright, Katnik, you're gonna be our beneficiary. You will see what happens there. Alright, so... Oh, the Pope is a dwarf. With whole of body. Oh my god, he's a shredded dwarf? Whoa! <laughs> Impressive how he became Pope. Wow, okay. Alright, so in 15 months the crusade will happen. So we've got 15 months to prepare. Um, right, the love letter. Oh my god, right. No sooner have I read the letter than fine, I'm on my way to her chambers. Oh my god. Your big hands are what give me gives meaning to my life. I wish only to hear your voice again, that I may know the radiant aura of your soul. You and I together is what makes the sun move in the sky. That's my bastard daughter who's saying that to me. My actions will answer her words. She will become my lover. Our union will be singular as her poem. No, she's going to become my lover because we're not actually related. Um, okay, the that Pope guy in England has discovered my scheme. So it's going to be less likely to happen, but he'll keep at it. It might take a while. Converted from Saxon to Irish. Good. Oh, yeah. Speaking of conversions, he's still going. Okay. My sister, Katnik, incites me to such blinding rage that some days I can scarcely remember why we feud. It matters little now. I hold her husband, Henry, in my embrace. His passion's aflame. You're sleeping with your sister's husband? I didn't agree to this. Soon, between my snide smiles and some well-paid gossips, Katnik shall know. I'll make sure Katnik knows. Knows one forbidden kiss to seal the rivalry. Wait, so you just bang everything that moves? He's homosexual, and... So, Katnik is not very good in the old bed. And I am... Apparently, I am a heterosexual. How did this happen? I'm gonna kiss. Let's do it. I lay with Henry Carpet, the Prince of France. <laughs> Have you ever kissed the real man? <laughs> the giggle that kind of came after that. All right, let's go. Henry pulls away. No, Henry, why did you do this? He said no. He's he's a homosexual. Why why aren't you into this? Oh no. All right. Anyway, I'm gonna bang my daughter. I already did. I just want to make... I need, I need a son, basically. She's pregnant! I don't think yes! Give you that. Uh, apparently is a lover. Great. She's pregnant. And I'm dead! I died! <laughs> I died at 51 years of age. Oh. So what happens now? Cursed with a disturbed mind, he was known throughout the lands as a raving lunatic. <laughs> Hi, Queen Amy? A Ayn ascends to the throne, prone to rage, and his enemies and vassals alike are likely to live in fear of her. Just as a crusade is coming, I'm going to send my entire army away. Rustlers, I got a new. Hmm. Well, he's dead, and uh, luckily we can have queens in this. Um. So now I am High Queen El El Alain. Okay. Uh, primary heir of wrong dynasty. That means it's game over if my guy, my girl dies. So I need to have a son. Quickly. Uh, diplomacy. 
Okay, so she's a di diplomat. 11, 12, 7, 7, 5. Right, okay, we'll go with family focus because it increases fertility, which is going to be very handy because we need sons. The Don. Uh, yeah, I've had the game for about two and a half, three weeks now. I've got about 230 hours in. So if you have questions, now's the time. It's out tomorrow, officially, for uh, everyone, apparently, as far as I know. Right, okay. Have children. Who is this? High King Malcolm of Ireland. All right, Malcolm. You better have babies. Actually, I wonder if that bastard daughter's going to have a thing. All right, what's going on? Okay, steward needs to be made. Who's the best steward? Oh, everyone's pissed off. I want Countess Theodora eventually. Shit. I'm going to stick her there for now. I can't have her as my spy master being that unhappy. Oh, crap. This is going to be risky as hell if I send my armies over. If I send my armies over to Jerusalem and there's all sorts of hell kicking off here, I'm done. It'd be fun to find out. Let's see. Um, yeah, you can you can do this. Stop schemes. Um, right, a good way to get people back on side, direct vassal opinion plus 10, is to lower my power, my authority, and have it less centralized. Oh, right. Mm -mm -mm. No, I'm going to keep that there. I need to. Um, but what can I do to get everybody on side? Domestic affairs, please. That helps. Ruler. Yeah, help the armies, because you're gonna, probably going to be ruling it. Uh, leading the armies, mate. All right. Anyway, less talking, more banging. We need sons. My daughter. Why? The only daughters. That's like the 12th daughter in a row. Stop being female is its name. For God's sake. Come on. Noble guest has arrived. This guy has a claim on my earldom, does he? What is that? He's a eunuch. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> I could just murder him, but... Actually, I should be killing off everyone who has a claim. That includes... Not a... Princess, not another one. Murder? 29%? No, I think I should be alright. We're both very young. I'm 18. He's 18, and I've got 20% fertility on. <sighs> My Y chromosome is defunct. <laughs> All right, let's go. Uh, I've got money. Should I spend it? I'm going to save it for mercenaries in case anything happens when my army's on crusade. Crusade for Jerusalem has begun. The time has finally come to bring St. George's holy wrath against the vile infidels of Jerusalem. Inflamed by righteous fury and unyielding resolve, the great army of crusader assembled by Pope Stephanus sets forth. Who's, remember, he's the dwarf who's shredded. <laughs> a dwarf pope is impressive. All right, so we're at war. Uh, this is the target area. Raise all armies. You can take mercenaries with you if you have the money. I do have the money. In fact, I'm going to. I'm going to hire a mercenary company and take it with us. If we die, we die. Uh, right, so, 305, I can get an extra 300 men. Oh, I can get some horses, I don't have any horses. Good. Okay, so they register there as well, we're going to go in one army. You hire mercenaries for three years, you don't pay weeklies or anything like that, you're doing a bulk fee now. Um, okay. Off we go. We're going to go there, it's going to take, uh, six months to arrive. <laughs> so, other people better be there, there by the time we get there. Also, in the meantime, bang, please. Have you banged yet? Are you banged today yet? Morning and afternoon, please. Uh, social manipulation. The first time it happened, I barely even gave a moment's thought, but my steward, Countess Theodora, has grown bolder. Her challenge is no longer pass unnoticed at the council table. She shall be given tasks that are impossible to complete. She'll think twice before... Yeah, she, okay, so I increased her opinion. I made it look like an idiot. All right, come on. Ally joins war. Loads of people are joining. I can't see any of my colleagues. I'm literally the only one that's turned up. 
Hello! <laughs> uh, we're here for the crus- <laughs> We're here for the crusade? Uh, this is Jerusalem, is it not? <laughs> There's no one here! There should be floods of, of Europeans and Catholics! I am being stood up. I'm just gonna wait here on the sea. Don't mind, do you? Boiling anger. You might be a high queen, but you're also a loathsome witch. By my mum? Oh, Dennis, my mum. She's been under a lot of stress lately. Even that even sh that even she struggles is calming. Okay, I got less. Is I can't see a single other person here, Pope. Are they all at war with each other? Oh, finally, okay. Finally, some people are here. Is anyone on the water? Yes, there are. Okay, 9,000, 6,500. I shall be known as Princess the Early of Ireland. All right, I'm going to wait. I'm... Oh, I thought I said he was pregnant. I'm pregnant now. Please be a son. Please be a son. All right, okay. 16,000 troops have landed there. I'm just going to land straight at Jaffa. Oh, whoa. We, <laughs> we fell into an ambush. <laughs> they were all waiting just out of sight range. Crap! No! <laughs> There's 5,000, 6,000 plus troops. I can't run yet. Oh, we're all dead. And like that, the Irish Crusade is over. <laughs> oh. All right, well, I've got a thousand troops left. We're all right. We're going to flee for a bit, but um, these guys are coming up. So I will get prestige just for the fact I turned up and got slaughtered. The first time I did this, I turned up with 12,000 men, died in like two battles, but because I'd sacrificed 12,000 lives, I did the most of the war score because <laughs> I killed so many of them as well. It was interesting. So my, uh, my, someone, my family got the... Uh, Queen of Jerusalem. That was pretty good. All right. Let's go. They're all fighting now. All right. Massive fights here. Okay. Let's go. Let's move it up. Move it up. Okay. More reinforcements are coming. So the idea, remember this, the idea is not, not to be the first in a crusade. That's some nice solid, solid life hack there. Do not be the first to show up on a crusade. We just sat partying on the boat for three months. Another fucking daughter! Is this broke? What are the chances of having 13 daughters in a row? This daughter's name is Broken Sperm. <laughs> right. Okay. So, we've got security here now. Let's go. Uh, Jaffa is being taken. Jerusalem itself is being taken. This area seems neutral. That area is not crossable. And um, we got 800 men up there. Let's try and kill them or take whatever that area is. Oh, it's neutral as well. Damascus isn't, no? Let's go get Damascus. Let's be running to 12,000 more. My last chance. My mother is kicking off. She's got a claim in Wales that she wants. Oh, yeah, she is Welsh. Give me a year. Let's see how this goes. If I come back from the crusade with millions, it might be good. My spy master died. I have a powerful 21 or very powerful 17. I'll take the very powerful 17. Right. Uh, and husband. Oh, husband. Make these people happy, yeah? Somehow. It's very dangerous right now. Is there any factions? Yes. Okay, sway this guy. Get him to like me more so he's less likely to be in the thing. And hurry up and have a goddamn son. Okay, Google. What are the chances of giving birth to 13 daughters in a row? Let's see if you want to On the website, cnn.com, they say... Okay, Google, stop. I don't care about those people. I just want to know what the odds are. Okay, right. Here we go. I get to show you this. 
dynasty perk. So, if you're the head of the dynasty, you earn the chance to pick bonuses once you reach a certain uh, threshold. In fact, groom to rule, sorry. That's not the dynasty one. Uh, this is the dynasty one? No. Wait. Well, am I not the king of the dynasty? Am I not the ruler of the dynasty? It evidently seems I am not the head of my own dynasty. Unless it'll come up in a minute. I don't know what happened there. It disappeared. Oh, Google, you asked a specific question. Well, screw you. That's fair enough. All right, we've just taken... Sorry, what's the question? There is no question, Google. Shut up. All right, so we've taken Damascus. So we've taken Damascus. Um, you didn't do matrilineal marriage. Uh, I believe I did because he's the king of Ireland and not the king of wherever. Uh, loyalty or fear? Like Machiavelli, I would rather be feared. I can ransom this person who's a baby. He's my prisoner baby. And also, we're about to win the crusade. I've just dropped down and 100. Yep, we're about to win. Literally about to win, and I'm just about to take this one and increase my war score more. But it's not going to let me do it, I don't think. Nope. Oh, a claim on Aelic? Oh, some flipping tiny house has done it. Right, victorious crusade. Hooray! All right, St. George has granted Queen Katnik victory in the crusade for Jerusalem. Your Majesty, Katnik, the Pope has deemed you worthy to be the Queen of Jerusalem. Ah, uh, right. So, <clears throat> I will get some stuff here. It'll show you. I'll just put it down to one speed just in case. So, yeah, it's a glorious day. Brilliant. Uh, right. Okay. So, the Sultan's been defeated. Um, based on what was given, 2,571 gold was di di divided. Based on... I was rank... I was beneficiary rank one because I slaughtered so many of my own citizens. <laughs> <laughs> but we didn't even have a fight. We did a siege. And we, well, we didn't win anything. We just got battered. So I got 514 gold, 1,200 prestige, 307 piety. And then I get this option in a second. I'll move it on. Wait, Queen Katnik of Jerusalem... Okay, so this is the option you get now. Because I've just done this... With the establishment of a proper Catholic queen in Jerusalem, the faithful can finally rest easy knowing that St. George is smiling upon our good works. The fact that the new ruler of Jerusalem belongs to my dynasty is only further proof of our divine favor. So when we've got two options here, I wonder what kind of ruler she will be. So that I will abandon playing the king of Ireland and I will start playing the queen of Jerusalem or I can stay in Ireland. What do you reckon we should do? I wonder what Katnit thinks we should do. <laughs> Should we stay in Ireland or shall we go mess around here with the Byzantines? Leave Ireland before the famine hits. <laughs> I remember that basically being death in CK2. It is indeed the same here. Big jihad's coming in. Yep. Protect the Holy Land, Golden Brady. All right, I will try this. I never tried it because I know from it, they don't last long. <laughs> I wonder if we die, we'll just go straight back to Ireland. Hmm. Let's find out. All right, Katnik. Your husband's in jail. Why is King Philip of... Sp oh, King Henry of Jerusalem has been captured. Oh, great. You're also an adulterer glutton, which the Catholics don't like. All right, let's be this then. Hello. Pause, please. All right. Queen Katnik. We have a lot of money. Good. Uh, ransom. Ransom. For 100 gold. Who's got him? The King of the Danes has him? For 100 gold. Sure. Let's bring... Yeah, fair enough. And my heir is me. So if I die, I go back to being the High Queen in Ireland. Yeah. Okay. So. Um, 
Jerusalem needs to be our, capta uh, our capital, right? Oh, we can't do it. You cannot change your realm capital while at war. Okay, we're at war. Okay. Uh, white piece? No, they don't want that. All right, well, they only have two areas. What about this one? So it's that one and that one. Oh, Palestine. Holy war for the Emirates of Palestine. Oh, shit. Every Muslim in the world's going to be here in a few minutes. <laughs> oh, shit. All right, Katnik. Uh, intrigue, I guess. Oh, and you're a world-class seducer. <laughs> Seductress. Temptation focus, why not? All right. So, we're here. Uh, right. I'm going to try, once this jihad is over, if it ever is, make Jerusalem the capital. Right now, it's here. Kerak. We don't have anything in the way of defenses, so... Desert agriculture? Ooh, I've never actually ran anything here. Oh no, we have mud brick towers. That's gonna help. Defender advantage might help though, so we're gonna upgrade that. What can we do in the town? We have plenty of money. In fact, I'm gonna save the money for mercenaries. Uh, but I have two things. I have Palestine and this area. Okay. Okay. Uh, wars are happening. Um... Druids is the faith in the area. I'm going to have to take care of that. Catholicism, please. That'll take, right? <laughs> Catholicism always takes these. It's really strong in Druids. <laughs> All right. Find me some secrets so I can blackmail people. Sort out the... Yeah, sort out the, the order in this area. It pulls well, yes. Okay, domestic affairs... And culture. Change the culture to Catholics. Do all this at once. Hopefully my spouse will return now. And dynasty, Prince Al Angelbert of Jerusalem, who is part of the French dynasty. Fuck. I wonder if I die, or does he immediately become ruler, and then I lose Jerusalem? This is interesting. We'll find out. Okay, I'm going to change the stream title one second. Jerusalem. Okay. All right. Uh, a good deal. Right, my husband's back. So we can smash some more. He's still only 34. He's 32, but he's a homosexual of disputed heritage who is also spindly. <laughs> As is my primary son. Uh, my secondary son doesn't seem to have spindly legs. That's good. All right. Let us marry these things off quickly for support. For example, I want Byzantine help, if you don't mind. Is there a Byzantinian guy we can have here? Byzantine, arrange marriage, please. Uh, between my... Let's try son first. And reset to default. There is no son available. What about my daughter? Shahanashash, who is lowborn and doesn't come with an alliance. That's not good. All right, what about your heir? Mm, there, your heir has a granddaughter. This should come with a alliance, right? No, it doesn't. Yep, okay. Well, I'll have to wait until they're of age, possibly. Crap. Crap, 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 crap. Crap, 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 crap. Okay, I still have an army up. We don't necessarily need that, but the enemy's too close for us to get away. So, oh, I'll tell you what. Mayor Severo of Al-Ramal shall take hold of these two armies, turn into one, and we'll go and chase these guys and do quick wars on them because these are the two guys that are fretting us. They're close by. Go. Oh, what's happening here, by the way? Uh, ask your head of faith for gold. A hundred gold from the Pope. Thank you. Designate guardian for this one. Uh, I, I can't. I don't have a guardian. Because she's in France. Oh, God. This is going to be messy as hell. <laughs> Alright, just keep going. Greetings! Thank you very much, Mr. Pope, sir. Do I call you Mr. Pope, or is it just... 
the Pope. I don't know. I don't know what the etiquette is there. All right. Um, kill the army first before you start taking that. Oh shit! It's Three thousand men there. Oh fuck. Okay, kill these. Get that quickly. Hopefully, this will delay them. Yeah, there are no other king. There are no other Christians around. It's just me and the Byzantines. I think. How's about Mr. Byzantine? You join our war. Offer to join war. All right, killed them. Go over there. I don't mind losing this for now. All right, let's speed this up. All right, I will need to get mercenaries. I have 570 something. Can I go into debt? I can't go into debt more than two years worth of your wage. Right, it's 1,700 soldiers. Okay. 1,700 soldiers, come here, please. Oh, shit. You're gonna have to go around. Oh, what? A bloom in the wilderness. Oh, for a third night in a row, I'm sitting at the same table at the same inn. The Queen of Jerusalem hangs around in an inn. My daydream interrupted when my friend Earl Olaf slams his tangle down. I have seen you, uh, seen you gawking at Uchu. Who's an Irish Catholic and a beautiful man. Uh, yes, I would like to nail him. How about every night? He becomes my lover. I now have a beautiful Irish barman. <laughs> oh, dear. Espionage and unbeliever. Right, we're finding secrets out. Good. Keep going. Come on, everybody. Are you going to fight now? No, get over there quick. Quickly. No, we're going to fight. Shit, I'm not going to break it off. Fuck! I was too late. I'm too late to do anything now. I can't get there in time and I can't. I think this might be a bad thing. All right, can we white piece any of these? Who is that? Can we white piece? How's about that? Nope. Because we're losing. And they won't even accept it. And I'm pregnant. Excellent. Pregnant with a barman's child. That's never happened before. Alright, now they're coming. Queen. Hi, Queen Breen. Alright, okay. No heir to your dynasty. What? Why? What's happened here? We're going to lose this very quickly. Katnik, you're a rubbish queen. Rubbish. Yeah, I'm going to lose it. 91. It's going to be gone. I just... <laughs> There's nothing we can do. Oh, we've got a thousand men, though. All right. Kill him. <sighs> to the abhorrent Queen Katnik. <laughs> May Allah destroy your house. This war has gone for far too long. I'm glad to put an end of it. Accept your surrender. What do I happen? What happens here? They will seize all territory in your realm that is part of the petty kingdom of Palestine. So I lose Palestine, but I keep Jerusalem. I am okay with this. I am... Oh, no, I don't keep Jerusalem. I keep the my... Yeah, I keep this area. Crap. Jesus Christ. Everyone's dying as well. For fuck's sake. Stop exploding, you cowards. My half sister's cool. Look at that. Camro. Looking pretty good there. Hmm. I can't recruit anyone to court. I've got no money. Ugh. All right. Well, we've lost Jerusalem. That means there is a chance that there'll be another crusade pretty soon. I'll kill that. Yep. I'm going to claim this as well. Okay. I am worried about this. 
Why is there no heir to my dynasty? Revoke false conversion. Did she make me convert? No, they didn't. Lose weight? <laughs> Lose weight is a way to relieve stress for most people. Yeah, we should definitely usually abandon it, but I'm having a go today. I'm having a go, because why not? Oh, my husband's in prison again. Oh, good, it's me and the barman now. It's another daughter! Is that 14 daughters? 14 daughters in a row. There is something wrong there. Think something happened in Ireland? Oh god. No, she's just no longer my heir because she's finally had a son. All I had to do was disappear. <laughs> Prince Duncan is the heir. Alright. Alright, 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 alright. Okay. Oh, I've got allies there. Cool. Okay. Right, let's take this last place and hopefully... Is it a war for us to keep things or is it defensive? It is defensive, I think. Well, once it's done, it's done. A hundred percent done. What's the demand? I keep the contested title. Queen Catnip, may wisdom ever elude you. I know when I'm defeated. Okay, good. Alright. Let's start this again, shall we? I literally have the Kingdom of Jerusalem that doesn't contain Jerusalem. Right. The Kingdom of Jerusalem that does not contain Jerusalem. All right, husband, let's get you back out. They won't accept for 39, and I can't offer 100. What about for a favor? No, they won't do that either. God damn it. Okay, dark insights. Truth is relative. We're going to use this along with once we can flick it back. We're only going to do our usual thing there. Of course, the Archbishop of Jerusalem is useless. He's got four. How long is that going to take? A long time. <laughs> okay, it seems that we're domestically pretty good. I don't trust this guy, though. Oh, I've got some prisoners. Uh, who's this? Mm -mm. Oh. That's the, that's the wife of a sheikh who is a homosexual. What I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm not going to bother with the gold for it. I'm going to gain a hook and demand a conversion. <laughs> so I'm sending her back. And these re she's renounced her Egyptian religion, I guess. I don't know much about these religions. Uh, you can designate a guardian for this woman. I can? No, I can't. I can't do it. Why is it like this? You can ransom another one. This one. Ooh, who is that? Ancient blood of the prophet. <gasps> I can force. I can force. <laughs> I can force a descendant of the prophet to become Christian. Surely not. It won't let me do that, will it? It will. <laughs> wow. Crusader Kings 2. He's Catholic now. <laughs> that's not, uh, wow. That's not canon. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay, I need knights. I have plenty of prestige. Let's bring some 
proper warriors over. Convert to local culture. Do I, do I do that or do I stay Catholic? Let's, yeah, let's stay, what am I, Irish Catholic? Yeah, if I convert, yeah, let's convert to the local culture. What is the culture? Mashiriki. Actually, that'll help us because we'll go really far forward in the, um, in tech. Because, yeah, they're early medieval. We're still tribal, I think. Anyway, let's do it. You know, YOLO. Oh, now I've changed my dress. Oh, speaking of which, we can wardrobe it. <laughs> just remind everyone what I did. I'm just going to wear my Crusader garb the whole time. And, um... <laughs> yes, yes. That's pretty good. Hair. Yeah. Cloak. Uh-oh. Portrait modifier, custom cloaks, female. Oh, it kind of worked. Yeah, wear a cloak. There you go. And also, you're bald now. <laughs> Katnik, you're a stunner. <laughs> Beautiful. So, converting to the local culture will help keep people happy and it seems to be helping us for um yeah i can't do that i don't know why i can't do anything there you do not have the maximum number of pharis employed what the oh that's knights so there's no longer knights they're pharis hmm. okay no, we didn't lose island, camera. You missed it, camera. We took the Holy Land, and because I did the most, um, the most damage, I guess. We did the most. We did the most war score. We um, got rewarded by my sister, i.e., Katnik, becoming Queen of Jerusalem, and we promptly lost Jerusalem because it's impossible. Okay, Pharises are arriving. I'll take this one. Oh, I can't? Why? Cost cost money. Brilliant. A new flame. Oh, look at this stunner. I could picture myself with someone new. Bring out the portraits. <laughs> oh, wow. These guys are potentially suitors. <laughs> He's scarred. <laughs> it's Tinder. It really is Tinder. Swipe left. Put it in the right pile. Swipe right. No thanks. Swipe left. <laughs> Swipe right. High Chieftain Cthulhu. Oh, Cthulhu. <laughs> it's a Tengri. It's a Mongol. Oh my god. Can we have a Mongol dynasty? <laughs> a Catholic Mongol dynasty? Has this game gotten in Jane tutorial? Yes, it has, Mr. President. It is a lot easier to understand than CK2 ever was. I'm going to keep that. Oh, what's that? Bleeder? Oh, no. No, thanks. No, thanks. Satrap? Hmm. No. What's that? Clubfoot? Clubfooted? No, thanks. No, thanks. How many more are there? Is it until I pick some? No, thanks. Oh my god. Oh, this guy's naked. Is that supposed to be that way? I think that might have bugged out. Unless this is the Armenian royal garb. <laughs> uh, yeah, I like that. Swipe right. Oh, now I get to pick. Oh, now he's wearing clothes, not interested. <laughs> what about this guy? Chieftain Backman. They're all worthy of my poetry. Oh my god. To so the graceful Malika Katnik. The roses upon your cheeks are the rock I cling to in stormy seas. 
Excellent, excellent, excellent. All right, where, am I, where have I gone? Buy another man. I have agonized over it, but the signs are clear. I am with child. Yes, I am with that barman's child. <laughs> Confess my infidelity. No one must ever know. No one must ever know. A sneaking suspicion. Is it truly mine? Of course it's yours, Henry. <clears throat> I chew loudly on a biscuit. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. All sorts of stuff's happening down here. The child is yours. Uh-oh. How has he got access to the palace? I say palace. The shed. <sighs> Two children are like guardians now. My son heard it. All right. Son Herbert, sure, I will look after that. Can I I can't designate a guardian. Oh, wait. I can't do it. For some reason, I can't do this with the... It's just going to keep telling me. Okay. More. Okay. I want to recruit him. He was 60 gold. <laughs> okay. Okay, are we still finished building anything yet? Oh, right. Really close. Okay, my son. Mr. President. Named it after you. Hush now, Mr. President. <laughs> uh, all my children. For every birth and cordiality shows to me. All right, she loves the fact that she's mother of many children. All right. Okay. I think we're settling in now. I'm getting a bit of stability. There's a few more. My mercenaries are about to run out their contract. Fine. Um, I'm still Catholic, so I should still get money from the Pope. So is she my heir? I can't have an heir. I don't understand why I don't have an heir. Can I change the laws or something like that? Confederate partition? Oh, I can change the law because I've changed, haven't I? Yeah, I don't have primogeniture or enough crown authority, but I can do, instead of confederate partition, I can do partition. Change the law. Sure. Right. Okay. Well, let's just keep going then as the adulterous Malika Katnik of Jerusalem. Remy Malika. Hmm. Okay, new intrigue. Right, truth is relative. Um, digging for dirt should be faster. Can I change over yet? No, I've got to get another one. Free once more. Oh, good. My husband's free. So, remember when we had a kid when you were in jail? <laughs> It looked like it'd be a tedious evening once the festival's over, but Hussein saved the day by by suggesting a reading from Golden Legend. I also love that one. Hmm. Your friend Domnall died. Okay. A sensual proposal. Oh, really? You're a distraction for tonight. The privy is a small place, and the air reeks of foul things recently deposited. But it's private, and oh so private. I gaze hungrily at Hussein, removing my garments. He does the same, and as we kiss, a wave of lust rises to make us both forget the spatial discomfort and dismal views and smells surrounding us. Oh, that sounds so hot. <laughs> Go to the privy for relief, I always say. Am I pregnant yet? <laughs> A sweet farewell. My lady, it is... Oh, God, he's going to leave. Yes, my love, I would do anything for you. I lay with him again. So, darling, that rumor about my vassal, would you speak to me? Okay. Tell me the secret. Ooh, I've got a cannibal in my court. My vassal is a cannibal. And I can blackmail him about it. 
I've got a strong hook on that guy. Also, my vassals are having wars and I can't do anything to stop it. Herbert in hiding. Herbert came to me complaining about a nest bullying him. Coward. Oh my god, he is a coward. He's an actual craven. Prince Herbert. Why not hide in your room instead? Craven to lazy. The bully deserves... Become arbitrary. Yeah, I'll take a hit there. Arbitrary. Good. Showing off. This morning I had a delightful encounter with a charming young servant. We joked. We laughed. We parted with glad hearts. All because of the effort of someone more personable. Okay. My gauge could charm masterfully coquettish. Okay. Hmm. Angelbert comes of age. Prince Angelbert. Okay, so are you my son now? Let's get an alliance. Nubians? Greeks? Oh, what's that? Duchy of... Okay. Yeah, I mean, getting a Greek alliance isn't a bad idea. She's six, though. Alan, Ethiopia, Greek, Greek. This guy's got earrings. Oh, it's a girl. <laughs> uh, no, let's find one with the best prestige. Then, oh, great, she's possessed. Thessalonica, possessed. There we go, we get a spindly lunatic. Excellent. Okay. How's Ireland doing? We're doing all right. We seem to be doing all right. Queen's doing all right. She's finally had a son. Okay. Right, what to do now? So the Seljuk Turks, or sorry, the Seljuks, they're not Turks yet, I don't think. Well, they are Turks. But that's a pretty big empire. And they are the ones that hold Jerusalem. How, in the name of all that's holy, am I literally going to get that? Let's sway the King of Byzantine. Yeah. We need them to be friends, otherwise we can't do this at all. Heresy in Selzvig. Okay. There's a random Christian kingdom just there. It's going to take 274 years for this guy to convert our area. <laughs> Oh my word. New intrigue perk. Oh, give me gold, Mr. Pope. Okay, can we move over to this yet? Yes, we can. Wealth focus. Oh, duty focus. Yeah, there we go. All right, spend this one on swift execution. All right, I think that's good for stream one of this. I don't know if I'll carry this on. Um, but I'm going to stream a little later tonight, so if you stick by me, I will be on later in the evening, a few hours time. But yeah, Crusader Kings 3, Katnik is the Queen of Jerusalem in this. Brilliant. Thanks for coming by, guys. I will see you in a couple of hours. Take care.